Last week on Root, the RPG by Magpie Games, you all found yourselves in the city, the clearing of Muckbed Creek, after witnessing a massacre of the eerie soldiers by the mercenaries of the Riverfolk Company, predominantly otters. And uh, you were witnessing it with the president, Gene O'Donnell, and not Gene O'Donnell, it's Gene O'Donnell. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you then all uh, figured that there was a, a, a ruin, probably, in this clearing, and you had to figure out what was going on. Uh, and when you were doing that, you decided to uh, get a job, or rather Hazel did, uh, working for Sherry's for Berries. Uh, and then eventually for Harry's Berries, it was a great uh, berry war. Uh, in, the, in the meantime, you all uh, investigated the, the casino called the uh, Voracious Gloom, uh, <laughs> run by um, the Pinkertons. Louis Ruger <laughs> and the Pinkertons. Skinkertons. Oh, I'm just <laughs> Uh, I'll never get it right. <laughs> and you all, um, you went into the, you heard about a, a cannibal woman in the woods. And you're not really sure how that works in the world of root with animals, but you don't really think about it. It's a cannibal. And, uh, it's an animal, the cannibal? And you met the woman in the woods. She turned out to be a big cannibal, black chicken cannibal, cannibal, with cannibal, a cannibal. big old waddle uh, who used to look over these ruins and look over the banner of the Blazing Hearts, but however it was stolen by the, the alligator man. Who's probably seemed a lot more menacing when I thought about it <laughs> than what happened. Uh, and what's so the, what's the bird's name, Mike? Her name is Bridget. No, just, no not Brigitte, just Bridget. Just, Bridget. just Bridget. Interesting. Bridget, huh? just Bridget. <laughs> um, That's my life. <laughs> you then got a love potion from her, and you put it in a big old berry that you robbed from a hare. And you gave it to Alligator Man, tied him down naked, stole the banner back, and, uh, God, well, that was, that's it. <laughs> ah, my phone! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You come to let it adventure oh, no. for the quality cut. This is fucking amateur hour. I don't get paid enough for this shit. I'm out. Are you expect me to work with this talent? I can't work under these conditions. Uh, uh, D and D. I D. I D. While you play D and D, you turn your phone on D and D. Uh, it's at least it's not like the time where I literally knocked over the backdrop. Did you? <laughs> yes. Were we here for that? It was the one where Kelsey was was gone. Oh. I'm so sad. No, literally crashed the entire thing. <laughs> you need to put a super cut of like just the horrible bloopers. Oh my god! Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Do a blooper roll. They're, real. they're basically all related to me. So I, show. I need to investigate your pickles for just a moment. Yeah, well, sure. investigation check. Oh, you, you don't have a D20. Sucks to suck. Um, yeah, they're dill pickle chips. Uh, so, but you guys know uh, that this is a uh, this is a Powered by the Apocalypse system. It is a 2D6 system. There is work. This is not Dungeons and Dragons. But you guys know the drill at this point. So we're going to get right into it. The session cool. ended with a great flagship sailing across the lake as you hear that the Marquisate had taken... Um, had, had taken... Uh, Wardwallow. And sailing in was the uh, the Viceroy when killed up. And uh, she uh, got off the ship and was meeting with Gene O'Donnell. And it seemed as if the, the, the Marquis 8 have arrived to take not just one, but two clearings, thanks to the treachery of the Riverfolk Company. You now are all uh, in your uh, hotel room um, called the Sutton. I wrote it down. It was like the the the, car, the Briny Carpenter. The Briny Carpenter. The Briny Carpenter. You're in your rooms. The Briny Carpenter. I I had a, created a bunch of different things, and you went with that one. <laughs> that just happens. And uh, you all, we'll just say you're either in the sitting room uh, or in the in the restaurant area, enjoying a nice breakfast, uh, maybe with some delicious berries provided by either Sherry's or Harry's berries. You don't know. They all taste the same. <laughs> they don't. And they don't at all. Market difference in quality. <laughs> And uh, you all sit as you basically are, are watching the a number of in, uh, patrons in this in this breakfast hall are poking their heads out the windows as the Marquis Eight soldiers are marching in. 
the Riverfolk mercenaries have, have laid down their arms, and they are not resisting at all as the Marquis 8 take over, uh, but they don't seem to be particularly uh, bothered by this. Once again, it kind of seems like uh, meet the new boss, same as the old boss. Some people are a little bit, are whispering back and forth, looking a little bit shifty, uh, but you're all sitting enjoying your breakfast. What are you doing? <sighs> the sun is shining, and, 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 and the, the air is so crisp, and, and the food has never tasted so sweet. <sighs> I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. Why would you die? <laughs> Why are you so happy? <laughs> because of that shifty alligator man. I can't believe he almost tricked me. I can't believe it. That's my job. I can't believe it. Uh, it wasn't any kind of magic. I think it was all just a ruse. It doesn't matter. We have the banner, and that's all that matters. I'm alive. Oh, exactly right. That's true. Um, I've been a little worried, though, because of the, the big old spooky barn owl we saw in the trees last night. Oh, yeah. Did oh, you yeah. forget? The, well, we, we've seen him like eight times now. I oh, know, but he just kind of was like there and I wasn't expecting him to be there. And he flew to the south <laughs> west. I was really just so invested in not looking at his one googly eye <laughs> that I didn't see where he flew. Oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> Well, you stop saying we're gonna die? We're not gonna die. We've been vagabonds for like a year now. We haven't died yet. Did you see that horrible creature? I, I mean, he's gonna kill us. I I he's a cold-blooded uh, murderer. Uh, he's I a professional. To throw you into tizzy, tizzy. Oh no! Oh my acorns. Do you want something more to eat? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I've lost better. my appetite, and I just kind of slide uh, it towards uh, Hazel, Hazel and Grumley to like fight over it. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I just think we're biting off that in back. Smooth this. Um, so, what do we have to do? We have to meet this Viceroy and get all the credit for what we did. And then we should get going and find the last one. If, they, if, they, if he's flying back toward, they know we're coming now. We should try to hurry if we can. It certainly seems as though we've lost the element of surprise. Wait, who knows we're coming from? I assume the Eerie. The Eerie! That owl guy, he's a soldier of the Eerie. Probably a very powerful soldier if I were to, if I were to guess. But if we, if they have the, 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 the jump on us, they may know something about the room. That's true. I'm afraid you might be right. You don't think that there's any possibility that maybe he's just looking for friends? And... He thinks maybe if he follows us around a little bit, we'd ask him to hang out? No. No, I don't. I think it's far more likely he wants to put our heads on a pike. And then why would somebody do that? Um, it's an intimidation tactic by one side in a war to scare the other side into submission. Or... Why don't they just say, hey, if you don't stop, bad things are going to happen? Why do you got to put somebody's head on the pole? It might be for decoration too, like it might all be almost, um... That's a terrible decoration! It might be Spooktober almost, and uh, you might want some decorations outside your house. Wait, so. Hazel, you're, you're telling me you've never heard of the famous warmonger, Tad Pole the Impaler? <laughs> you know, I've heard a lot of stories about Tad Pole the Impaler. Okay. Oh, Cause yeah. Because that seemed like something he just made up. Oh no, it's something you tell all of us little froggies when we're growing up. It's horrifying. Oh no. It's a bloodbath! I don't like it. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. And guess what? He's the undead. He can't even eat food. That's terrible. And now I feel bad for him. <laughs> oh, well, that didn't go where I thought it was going to go. I'm sorry, I totally ruined this for you. <laughs> it's alright. Um, Imagine. Huh. So, do we actually have to meet this vice world? I mean, we don't it's have really to, but we should. <laughs> we should. We should. We should claim the credit. That's um, true. I'm a little concerned about the uh, <clears throat> balance of things uh, after after speaking with the uh, crows. Uh, it, it appears as though we might be uh, pushing the tide too far in one direction, and 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 maybe it's not my concern. Maybe I'm getting soft. I I don't know. Um, I just feel like we're, 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 we're messing with things that are beyond our, our comprehension. Well, well, who says that they're right? Why does it have to be a balance? You know, I... I've had nothing but trouble from the Eerie. 
I don't know him. Right. I don't have a good answer. I mean, I, I don't, for personally, I don't think we need a balance at all. Often the master of the Marquis Acre used the relics to take over our own dimmels. I, I know you feel that way, Grumley, I know. And they, she, she could bring the Marquise herself. She could bring industry and jobs and, and, and civilization to all of these clearings. And that's the goal. That's what we're shooting for, maybe. I don't know. But at, at the, as far as I'm concerned, if we get all four relics, they won't fall in the hands of either side until we say so. That's true. Well, There's no one I trust more with priceless relics than myself, so I think that's a great idea. Um, do we know where the Viceroy and all them are coming? Uh, you saw yeah. her walking out to the, uh, the headquarters of the Riverfolk Company. So once we're done with breakfast, we should head over to the headquarters. All right. Maybe say thank you to Mr. O'Donnell. Sure. Uh, yeah, if we have to. All, all right. Um, so I'll, I'll continue eating my breakfast. I want to... Who is the banner? I want to get a sense of, does the banner feel, like, different than the other relics? Given that it's all shadowy and the other ones are, like, kind of bright and gleaming. It was also glowing with the orange okay. light. Right. He just cast the orange glow, cast the dark shadow. I would say it's pretty obvious to tell they each have kind of a separate power. Got they all kind of glow with, like, the embers of the uh, the blazing heart. The one, like, fucks with your, your noggin. The other one is, like, trees and the other is shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And drunk. I Man. hope one day my special power is trees. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly trees. Are you seeing two towers? That's pretty powerful. <laughs> Touche. Um, are we ready to go? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready if you are. All are. I guess so. Yeah. We don't have too much time, so we should try to keep it brief. But we should say goodbye, and maybe the vice lord can put in a good word with the marquise. We'll let you um, lead the way, I suppose. Uh, I, uh, is there any chance that you've already met this person in, in another time? No. You've heard of her, though. Maybe I've we, heard of her, though. Maybe we shouldn't <laughs> let Grumley lead the way, then. You know, I kind of like the destruction that follows when you let Grumley uh, lead no, the just, way. I've got the tavern. On. I mean, hold on. I put on my filthy ancient it's even It's filthy with uh, swamp and chicken. Greece. Yeah, so I put it on. Uh, <laughs> and I was kind of good. Um, well, I think you should still do a lot of the talking. And I, um, Rosie here is, is quite. Renowned. I don't know what you're talking about. I, mean, I have heard of Rosie the Ribbiter, but I, I'm assuming that's the Rosie you mean. Oh uh, well, that was quite a leap of assumption. But well, yes, as a frog, I exactly have a tendency right. to leap. Is it, what were you trying to say? <laughs> What? I, that's not a bad thing that you mean. No, I didn't think it was a bad thing, but you I, sure said it was like a bad thing. I didn't mean to offend anybody. No, I'm, I think that that's, yes, that's exactly who I meant. Yeah, what, is, what, is, what does Rosie have to do with anything? It's not like Rosie's here. You're right. Well, I'm just saying that she's very renowned in the Marquis saying. Yeah, no, probably. Sure. I'm just saying we have some, we have some ends. And in a mechanical sense, I have plus two to my reputation role with the Marquis A. Sure. <laughs> Anyways, let's go! I'm not wearing any you, shoes. <laughs> you, you, you gather your things. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're, never, you're not going to head back to the briny carpenter. As you make your way through the long wooden uh, boardwalks of Muckbed Creek, as you turn a corner, you hear a low wail like, Oh gosh! Robbed in the middle of the night of a priceless heroin! Well, we should probably pick up the base. Oh man, if only, well, thank goodness that Chibuck sails are gonna bring in everything that I was robbed just terribly. Do we even still have the, 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 the sandwich board? I don't think so. I left well, it in the uh, inn because I thought maybe it would draw business out to the uh, stand. Uh, walk, walk more quickly. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, let's all be a little bit more business. I'm ruined, but until the Chibuck comes back, that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't steal all the berries. We run in the opposite direction. <laughs> as far away from Gus as possible. He can, he can just sell them. It'll be okay. Let's go. <laughs> I was probably the, the filthy eerie that robbed me. 
<laughs> and you hear him wailing, you hear him wailing uh, as you leave Harry from Harry's berries behind. Bye-bye. Um, and then you pass, uh, uh, you hear a voice calling out as you make your way. Oh, thank, thank you, Papa you, Papa Hilda. Hilda. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, you, get, you hear another voice calling out as you're running, <laughs> running in the opposite direction. Hey, will you sign a non-compete clause? <laughs> Sherry's berries! <laughs> and then you run past, the voice fades away. What's all the berries in this clearing? I don't want any more of this. I don't want none of it. <laughs> you uh you make you, you run through and you actually know that Muckbed Creek, there's a lot of uh like, I have a question. Yes. Is there a platypus who runs Perry's berries? <laughs> you you can certainly try to find that. But yes, Next now time. now now that now that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you hear uh, that was a berry business. <laughs> uh, as you uh, as you're leaving, you hear uh, as you were leaving Harry, you hear one you hear one thing. Well, I I, I hope that Chipmunk didn't go off into the swamp and get end up by a, a tadpire. I hear those are <laughs> terrible this time of spooked over. <laughs> <laughs> and you eventually make your way. <laughs> you ve- yes, Abby. Yes, they were. <laughs> you make your way uh, to the the headquarters of the River, River Folk Company. You see once again the large storefront where uh, the line, despite the early hour, is is wrapping around several blocks as people are exchanging gold and clams uh, for a great great number of goods. As you eventually arrive, you ever you also see, however, that there is a heavy presence of rows and rows and rows of Marquis Eight soldiers and bodyguards. As um, <clears throat> you eventually arrive, there are uh, two uh, Marquis Eight soldiers that basically stop your path, and they look at you and say, "Who goes there?" It is I, Grumley of New Felicia. Is it, so, is it so Grumley? Or just regular Grumley? I, just, I think just regular Grumley. I was a deputy. Oh, damn it. I wasn't a knight or anything. What? Deputy? <laughs> Why are you speaking to me, deputy boy? Well, I'm not a deputy anymore, really. Even worse! Say your purpose. We're the ones... <laughs> have you heard of vagabonds that were responsible for all this? No? What are you about to? It's us! What are you not trying to do? The Viceroy is speaking with the President! May we join them? I- I'm sure that if you just send for them and-, and-, and tell them that we're out here, then they'll be able to clear up any misunderstanding that is currently happening presently. Do we have anything that we could show him that would be like private information that they wouldn't want us to show? Uh, what did you- what-, what you had a few things. We had like a whole box from- from Gene, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there's probably something that you could show. Okay, sure. I'll take out so the box- what and... about the reputation moves? When you ask for a reasonable favor based on your reputation, yeah. you roll with your reputation yeah. to make something happen. Yeah, okay. roll- roll uh, a Marquis 8 roll, great idea. Alright. Is this a roll that we can also help on? Ooh, yeah. I don't know. Probably. I'll about a it. It's a 10. A ten. Awesome. Oh, we're good then. <laughs> um, so let's see. On a ten plus, they've only heard good things. Are more likely to ally with you. That's when you meet someone who's important for the first time. And on a seven to nine, when you roll for reasonable favors, um, it will cost your rep a bit. Well, that's that's. So that's if you're asking for a favor. Right. When you meet with someone important oh. for the first time who's of a faction, you yeah. roll with your reputation, which is what he did. And on a 10 plus, they've only heard good things are more likely to ally with you. Mm. I'll include that roll for the vice roll. Ah, I was just testing you! <laughs> of course I've heard of the Vagabonds! <laughs> and then going forward, if you need to ask for help, you get an additional plus one. Oh. I'm ongoing four. when you ask them for help. Oh, okay. But okay. when you ask for specific help, you take... A minus in your reputation. They cash some in, basically. Oh, I, well, that sounds good. What a delightful uh, change in attitude, my friend. Um, thank you. Well, Wait. you can never be too careful. I don't know what you heard, if you heard about what happened down at the. Thank you for the sunset. The voracious Seba. gloom. Seba. Thank you, Seba. Thank you. The voracious Seba gloom. Seba um, the the voracious. Wait. Gloom. No, no, we didn't no. hear anything oh, that happened. happened there. But if you'd like to enlighten oh, us, no. tell us all the oh, details. Some horrible ne'er do wells broke in and and. The alligator man that runs the business is almost dead! Well, thank goodness, uh, vagabonds would never do anything and like that. And they robbed him blind! Uh, wow, that is unfortunate. But he's not dead, right? Oh, well, not yet, at least! 
Wow. Well, and it sounds like whoever did it didn't kill him. I mean, maybe they just... He's clucking him. like a mad gator! <laughs> like oh, a he's clucking uh, mad! I, I <laughs> certainly uh, wouldn't hope that he were to uh, uh, perish untimely. Oh. Maybe, maybe go talk to uh, the vice president. We'll, we'll wait right here. No, yeah, well, I've heard of you. I was just testing you. You can never be too careful. I will lead you to the vice president right away. Oh, uh, better yet. Uh, of course. Thank you. Let's go! And he uh, turns and uh, leads you. <laughs> Sounds! And uh, yeah, he just turned into that. As uh, he leads you uh, through rows and rows of heavy security, not just of Marquis Eight soldiers, but also of the mercenaries of the River Folk Company. As uh, you make your way up the familiar stairs, the various hallways to the top floor, to this, the large double doors to, uh, to Gene O'Donnell's office, as the uh, the door, uh, he stops at the door very hesitantly and uh, gives a light rap, open the door and sticks his head in. He can't really quite hear what he says. And uh, he closes it and says, Well, you may go in. I have heard the Viceroy has said great things, because Mr. O'Donnell has said great things. Oh, oh thank you. That's um, good news. I, I'm going like, to take the, the, the group aside. Out of your shot, hopefully. And before we go in, just one moment, please. Um, so what's the whole deal with the conscription thing and the and, and drafting kids? Where are we f- with that? Well, well, we've got to stop it. I believe Peggy made it pretty clear that 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 they would stop and then and no no more no more. And Jean would would do well. Well, wait, hold on. We got the letter from the guy. The guy said that he would. It's been a while. I, I, did we come to an agreement? I, I mean, we could reiterate, I suppose. Well, she said that she would stop temporarily. Oh, just to make well, sure that we did what we said, Yeah, right? she said she would stop temporarily and that once we gained the clearing form, she'd stop completely forever, so we for should sure. just so confirm. Now, we'll reiterate, has to of course. stop, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's the, that was the deal. And we're firm on the You know I'm feeling a little soft this morning. Uh, uh. Well, regardless, it, it, we're in pretty good standing. I, I think that, that we, it wouldn't be too hard for us to, um, you know, uh, convince them uh, one way or the other. Hopefully. All right. May we? Yes, of course. I had just stepped away. You mean you also wouldn't have my permission? <laughs> Goodbye. I open the door. <laughs> and what an odd fellow. You open Strange. The, you open the door, and you see uh, the large, uh, hefty form of Gene O'Donnell, his... Uh, his crumbed whiskers uh, with a freshly eaten sandwich <laughs> on his desk. And, and uh, another freshly eaten sandwich across his desk is sitting in front of a also a, uh, a larger than average cat with a dark gray fur, uh, long whiskers, large green eyes, wearing uh, a bright, almost gaudily uh, purple, like a fur robe, uh, fur, fur coat as she sits across and she turns to look at you. And uh, Gino, with all the rings on all of his fingers, he, uh, he, he beckons you and says, Oh, yes, uh, 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 uh Ms. Roy, it, it, I'd like to introduce you to my friend. You've heard of the Vagabonds. We have, uh, we have Grubbly over here. <laughs> we got, uh, books. Farsh Roy! Man. We have, we I have Froggy. Yeah, sure. We call it Froggy from Frogtown, I think. <laughs> And we got, hey, Vilma. <laughs> Come, this is, this is Miss Roy. And she turns, and she turns back at you. Oh, these are the vagabonds! <laughs> uh, yes, it's, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. You're the ones that want me to stop. <laughs> Seizing children! I have the same voice as the other guy! <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we're, we're, we're glad that you brought that up because yes, that would, that was that was uh, more or less the terms of the agreement. That's right. Yeah, it's a pretty good train. Oh, well, I didn't think you would success. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't think you would successfully take help us take two clearings. I was looking forward to the additional labor from strapping young men and women. Oh. Well, it, 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 it's kind of a weird thing to say. Well, now you don't need it anymore because you have uh, very securely, uh, you have control of Click Park Crossing and there's no Ely presence to the south um, or even down here. So it's quite 
uh, quite safe where you are now. You shouldn't need to conscribe or draft any more we lads. That's true. Now Agreed. you can send them to do learning and, you know, trades and stuff. And, like, kid stuff. I don't really oh. know. I got kicked out of my home pretty early. But kid, <laughs> kids do stuff, right? Well, of course. I think so. I'm not from around here. So yes, I'm like, like yard Jamer! <laughs> When, you, when I was a kid, I used to eat a lot of mud. Oh, they can eat mud now. And look at how I turned out. Oh, my eyes smart. get, like, really bugged out, and then my tongue falls out of my mouth. <laughs> that, that's all that I'm is. picturing you, like, one of those squeezy toys with the eye <laughs> bug and the, like, sh tongue shoots out. <laughs> she looks at you and says, uh, um, she kind of, like, clenches her purpose a little bit and says, mm, well, uh, the Marquise herself will be very happy that I have taken three clearings, so even if the Eerie comes back, we may still be child soldiers, but not, not for a long time. Well, that's not exactly the deal that we had. And besides, if you keep constriving children, then you can't use the new catchphrase that we came up with. It's called, um, Marquise. The Dimwood, where kids can be kids. <laughs> And it would be a shame to really let that marketing go to waste. Oh, it's really got a to ring to it. it. I think what Hazel's trying to say is that the, the, the children are our future. Do you feel persuaded to uphold your end of the bargain? Did you do message testing for that? <laughs> um, there was a small sample group. Our focus groups, we did uh, three rounds. And a few IDIs afterwards. <laughs> He could persuade everything. <laughs> Whoever would like to do it. Can you roll it with again? And you can all, uh, you can all help. Do I feel charming? I'm so charming. Oh, it's so alarming how uncharming I feel. What'd you get? I got a five. Six, seven, eight. We're fucked. <laughs> Well, if we two of us help, we can at least we get, get a seven. seven. I'll help. I'll help as well. What do I have to uh, mark off? I always forget. Decay or exhaustion. 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 And so with this, uh, you you get the sense that uh, she's going to oh, she's going to she's she's going to uphold her end of the bargain. You get the sense of that. But she's definitely worried about the power of the Eerie and how vengeful that they're going to be. And so if there's anything that you can do, maybe in additional clearings or securing things or securing the fate of the of the Marquis Eight, that would be a very easy way to sway her. Mm -hmm. uh, to give her basically rest to make her to make her rest easy that the Eerie aren't gonna swoop in and just take back everything and more. For what it's worth, um I, I would just like to go on record as saying that uh the Eerie don't really like any of us very much, and we don't really uh, like them back. Um, so, so if it would put your mind at ease, um, we're certainly uh, are not going to turn around and, 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 and just, just give out our uh, help to anyone, uh, especially the Eerie. Um, so we are very clearly in the camp of the Marquis Eight, and, and, and if there's anything else that we might be able to do to help you and put your mind at ease, and especially keep the children out of conscription, then we're in. A new catchphrase for us. We're clearly against the eerie. But maybe just don't go advertising that or they're gonna swoop in and kill us instantly, but 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 uh, that's neither here nor there. Remember where kids can be kids. Or something. Well, Mr. O'Donnell assures me that he will be able to hold a uh, muck bed, creek. Give me a and lozenge, cause there's something going on with your throat. <laughs> what? Do you need a lozenge or something? What's that? <laughs> Did you swallow? Do you have a hairball? Is that not okay to say that we can? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Was, I knew I'm there was something sorry. going on. <laughs> I, I, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pardon me, you know, I, I, I just, it happens so often, I don't, uh, I don't, and, and Gene Booker is making horrified. that exact same <laughs> Booker is horrified. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, what, uh, I, I never I pick up the hairball and just pocket it. <laughs> yeah, it, it is large and absolutely <laughs> dripping and, uh, dripping and disgusting. Holy dimwit! Well, anyway, as you can see, I'm a former member of the Marquis eh? And uh, they still have my loyalty, as you've heard about us. We've done some great deeds for the Marquis. Um, and so we could, if you just agree to uh, 
stop any further conscription. You, 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 all the other clearings, they do recruitments. And plenty of woodland folk would love to take up a sword for the Marquis in exchange for coin and food. Well, then I believe where we're going to next actually may be an eerie controlled clearing, so we'd be happy to check things out for you. That's right, we're headed to Drakesmith next. Do a little bit of uh, re- reconnaissance, if you will. I'd like to go to the beach if we could. That might be in the future next, Hazel, of course. I'd burn if I'm in the sun for too long. Does all the mucus like shrivel up and crack? Please don't talk about my mucus in front of the cat. I, I know, I know what it's like. <laughs> well, I suppose if we have two clearings, that two new clearings, the Marquise herself would be pleased enough that I suppose I can put aside the additional help and free labor, cheap labor, of, of teenagers. That is my end of the deal. And if you are offering to be scouts for the Marquis Eight, I suppose I can reward you for what you've done for the Marquis Eight and for the task you're going to perform. Um, we certainly wouldn't say no to a reward. There are rumors that the Eerie are looking for something very dangerous by the coast of Drakesmith. Oh, the coast? That's there are mysterious is. lizards lurking in the shadows there. They believe that there is a dragon cult. And I suppose that it's a good oddly fiction. But the Eerie are crafty, and especially when they are desperate, the talons come out. Um, well, we happen to be headed there, so we will investigate for you. Whatever you find, bring it back to New Felicia. We can do that. Uh, a booker was just saying he wants to see New Felicia. Always wanted to go. Isn't that right? And I'd like to go home for a little bit, or my new home anyways. It's been a while since I've been back. So yes, we will bring it back to New Felicia. We can deliver it to, um... Is there someone we should deliver it to? Tell them when you're with me. Tell them you're the vagabonds that... that we killed us sent. I will send word. And with that, I take my leave. Jean, it's been a pleasure as always. Yes, as always, Miss Roy. You know, I, I read in a document one, if, if you enjoy a large and or two, that you stop licking yourself primarily, you won't get hairball. I mean, but, you know, that's not really my place. Uh, you know, you're a lady, you can decide what you do with your own grooming. Right? Never mind, I'm done. <laughs> and... And she she just huffs and scoots her chair back. And uh, as she shuffles to the door, she turns around and does a glare. Says, Keep in mind, I am giving up my child soldiers for this. Please do me even more proud. And she turns around and walks out the door and slams it. Uh, oh, oh, all right. Um, uh, I suppose we should uh, yes. uh, uh, get, get going then, maybe. Bye. Did she say something about a reward? Is that now or later? Oh, yeah. She just kind of, like, dangled it and we just walked out. I think that was the reason she asked us to go to New Felicia afterwards, is we do the thing and then she's going to, like, probably just execute us if I had to guess. You think so? And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, um... Don't remember to get paid up front next door. Uh, uh, this conversation is riveting, and but maybe we should uh, walk anything, and, and actually, talk actually, while, we, like while we do that. this. Uh, uh, Jean, uh, we appreciate your hospitality. Do, yeah. do you mind if we uh, get going? I'm not your father. <laughs> um, Why are you asking me for permission? Uh, we have some uh, deep, deep-seated issues that you need to ask a, a strange daughter you just met for permission to leave. Um, whatever makes you, um, yes, yeah, sure, we'll go that. because you thought my guy's murder like everyone in the clearing, huh? Uh, would you like a clam strip Reuben uh, 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 only if it would offend you if I said no, then, then It I wouldn't should. have, but now it will. Uh, I guess I'll have the sandwich then. We'll take the Reuben, yes, please. That would be lovely. Ha. A parting gift. And he, uh, he makes, uh, of some movements for everyone, and he says, Eh, hey, you know, while you're here, just swing by the warehouse, just the stuff in the back, more like the clearance items, just take whatever you need, just tell, uh, just tell Benny and Vinny, they'll be a little irritated, but, yeah, they're fine, they're fine. 
And so he gives you the Rubens to go. Very generous. Thank you. Uh, I'm understood. Thank, thank you. I think I'll take my Ruben to go if you don't. Well, that's why they're wrapped in this beautiful uh, butcher's paper. Do you know what kind of butcher I am? Uh, uh, to burns. Goodbye. <laughs> to, to the warehouse. <laughs> Good, goodbye. <laughs> um, go, goodbye. And all like scamper out the door. He turns around and look out his window. As uh, you all make your way down, uh, and you're escorted by an otter mercenary, and you see that the, uh, as you make your way down, that the uh, the guards of the Viceroy are all following her out and guiding her to her ship. You all head down to the uh, to the, the back warehouse of, uh, of of the goods where maybe they're not uh, they're not the highest quality, but you could probably fully stock up and replenish all of your all of your uh, injury or all of your harm tracks. Um, Even the exhaustion. Yeah, I would say that you could stock up on supplies and it's full restock. Stock. It's a full restock courtesy of Gene O'Donnell. The jerk. That was a nice trick, but they're all the voice change. That's clever. I, I liked it. That was clever. It was good. I liked it. Too. Uh, you all, um, you, you talked to, to, to Benny and Vinny a little bit. And uh, they seem relieved that all of the shenanigans of, uh, they seem a little bit tired and they kind of reference like they, they're whispering back and forth about a heist that they did, but uh, are not more forthcoming than that. Um, and with that, uh, you are all escorted back out onto the streets of Muckbed Creek. Uh, and the day is yours, it's quite early, it's not even noon yet. Uh, you're fully resupplied with all the weapons, armor, um, food, supplies, anything that you would want to pull out of your pack, uh, the otters would have. And uh, as courtesy as, as, as thanks for the, you saw that the, the massive chest that had not been in his office previously was absolutely brimming with gold pieces. Uh, more gold than any of you have probably seen in one place in your entire lives. <clears throat> wow. So what do you do? Well, I, I, I hate to just, um, you know, suggest leaving uh, Muckbed so quickly. I haven't been home in... in very, very long time, and I, I didn't even really have the chance to see anyone. But, but maybe if, if the Eerie is on the way to where we think they might be, it might be best for us to get a move on. I agree. Uh, the question is, how do we get there? I pull out the map. And um, we have a couple options. We could take the river, or we could go through Sticker Brush. Um, but there's rumors of a re- rebellion there. It might be nice if there's no army, it might be a more pleasant journey along the road and dealing with with the woods. Who lives down there? Do we like what do we know about sticker brush? Um, I would say that you know the sticker brush is a mouse clearing that is uh Full al- hogs. almost uh that you know there that there are whispers of boars in the woods outside of, of sticker of a brush. Quill war sextant. Uh, <laughs> you don't know what kind of people go missing. <laughs> and they come back feeling pretty good. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, you know that it is so, it is overgrown with brambles and thorns, and only the denizens of this place are really able to navigate it easily. Armies aren't able to march in, even the eerie scouts aren't able to fly in and, and get any kind of foothold. And there are whispers of, of, of zealous uh, rebels that uh, even most denizens of the forest find to be... Um, a little bit intense for them. Do we feel that we could even like feasibly travel there? You could travel to potentially the clearing, whether that's or not what I'm saying, or is it like is it like that hard to get? You to? get a sense that it's almost kind of like a fort, and it's very heavily guarded. That any any that it's 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 been impenetrable for months, years, um, for both the Eerie and the Marquisate, and it's so remote. It's the most remote clearing in the entire Dimwood, as far as uh, its position. Well, as exciting as all of that sounds, and it's a place I've never been before. I don't know if we necessarily want to go marching into any kind of a uh, a, a fortress if, if they're not particular to one side or the other, and they hear that we've been uh, heavily helping a certain faction. You know what we could do? It's just the one-off. We get close to the edge. I take all my clothes off and start running, screaming through the entire place. You guys scoot around the side. Everyone will be drawn to me. I die. But you make it safely the way we need to go. Well, we, we can also make it safely where we need to go without anybody dying. Um, yeah. If we just, just go around 
I don't think you should have that idea back, actually. No, yeah. yeah. Uh, no need to valiantly um, sacrifice yourself uh, on the thorns uh, in a naked fashion. Uh, yeah. yeah, I it's hear there's good. a quill war sex dungeon there. I don't uh, know what that is, and I'm not yeah. sure that I want to ask. If you're just trying to, like, say something without saying it, you can wink. Like, I, I, I don't have eyelids, so... Oh. I guess I've never noticed. <laughs> 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 Thanks for the follow, date bit gaming. Date bit gaming or date bit gaming? D8. Oh, D8. Bit gaming. Oh, D8. Oh, that's God. Cool. Like a D8. Oh, God. God. Um, well, <laughs> okay. if there is a third option. We could ask Gene to have one of his fellas take us on a boat down the river. Oh, yeah. But it isn't to an eerie clearing, and given what the artist just did, I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. I didn't make it get us very far. We probably have to get off in the woods. And, and we didn't do very well in the open water last time. Now, with the artists with us, I would feel more safe, more comfortable with that option. They're, they're pretty fearsome warriors, but... Then that weird old guy. What was his but name? you know, I will say no, that I don't there. think that it's fair. Ben, I don't think it's fair for us to endanger endanger more of the otters. I think if there's a way to completely avoid the quibble quibble sex dungeon, that we should just do that. We should head off the other way. You keep saying that series of words in that order, and I'm not really sure what it means. And and at this point, I'm almost too a, afraid to ask. I read it in a document once. <laughs> so I was thinking we should take the other direction. That's the total opposite way from Sticker, from Drakesmith, rather. I'm not sure what you mean. So hold on, if can I... Can we just go through the forest and completely avoid it? It'll so be a little can... more dangerous, we but guess. I think we should. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. As much as I'd love to meet some of these uh, members of the, the Wood... We know they're called the Woodland Alliance. Yeah, I would say that you've heard whispers of the Woodland Alliance. Uh, you guys were referring talking to it up in Rye Bear Falls. Right. right, I just didn't know if we ever yeah. actually called them the yeah, Woodland Alliance. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, as much as I would love to meet some of the members of the Woodland Alliance, uh, it sounds like they're doing fantastic work. I, I just... I, I I don't know if we would be um, well-received uh, with, with all that we've done for the Marquis 8. <laughs> I don't see how they'd know that. Um, well... <laughs> I would just be worried that maybe our reputations might precede us a well, little. Well, I made us all of these, and I hold out these little tabbers that oh, say no. working for the Marquise. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, uh, I was thinking that we, sh- we could wear these. A beautiful gift, but but I, I can't, we can't wear those. But then, and I flip it around, it says working for the Eerie. Oh. Um, I don't think he heard I was work with these radicals. We have to lay very well. Well, then we could just take all of our clothes off, and then we're radicals too. Right, we're back to the first time. We could act as pathetic peasants and go to their doors and say, Oh, there's been so much violence in Muckbed Creek, we need refuge. Yeah, and then one of them takes a knife out and stabs you in the throat and says, Ha, radical. (laughs) Is that what radicals do? I I bet that's what they do. You're right. I honestly don't know. Radical. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds pretty radical. All I'm saying is I'm concerned about it. All right. He flips and rides away with his While drinking your free son. He flips out his heelies and he stays away. The devil may cry. Later. <laughs> Three globs of silver metal fly through the woods. <laughs> it's very extreme. Hey, boomers, do you remember Capri Sun? <laughs> silver Surfer. Yeah. Oh, boy. What was the flavor called? I don't know remember. Yeah, yeah, it was something similar to that. Uh, All right, so I think I was thinking the woods then. I think it's gonna be a lot safer than getting our next slip. I got someone on Heelys. (laughs) I agree. I don't even know what those are, but they sound very dangerous. Yeah, no, no, I just made it up. You could probably sell those. That's a great idea, and I just sit down where I'm at, and now I start writing out a blueprint for healing. They're going to walk like toys and stuff. To be fair, it's, it's it, my name. The woods. The woods. All right, the woods. Is that the best way? We sure? You know, the, what they always say, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, or in our case, a kind of crooked line that goes from one place to the other. All right. All right, well, we should head off. Okay. As you make your way to the edge of the clearing, you know that it's it's swamp around this area and then a uh, forest. Uh, you actually pass a familiar person. Uh, you see the, the, the frazzled old hair, uh, Harry. He has a little a stick. He has uh, two bags full with basically what you assume to be the rest of his possessions that haven't been stolen oh, no. or ransacked. I didn't take and that much. As he begins to kind of trudge off in the marsh, and he's like, well, 
Hey, hey, it's my one employee that I can't afford. By the way, we have to cut your hours to zero. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. Do Truly. I get severance? No, and just so you don't send the unions after me, I'm taking off into the woods. Um, well, I wish you a safe journey. Well, well, I'm not sure it's going to be safe, but yeah, there was a bit of, 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 of providence in that I woke up to a love letter for someone called, uh, for someone called BJB. I don't really know what those initials are, but she, it, I seem to be a lady, a secret admirer, and she said she she's a man eater for sure, but she swears she's not a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna beat her out of the woods and go on a pleasant date. I've got, I brought a bouquet of roses. That sounds really nice. I'm very happy for you, Harry. Do you bring a bou- bouquet of chocolate dipped berries too? Oh, that's a, wow! I can't believe I didn't even think about that. You know, you're when you're in the business of berries for so long, you actually just forget all of the uses of berries, which is probably why I went out of business. <laughs> anyway, sorry, employee, no severance pay, but the union phones won't be able to find me. <laughs> Goodbye. <I'm not> ready. <laughs> The hell is wrong with these people? It's clearing. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He bowed. Goodbye, oh, Harry. Uh, he bowed. Goodbye. Say hi to Bridget for us. This is, Who? This is exactly why I, I left turn. this clearing in the first place. People are nuts. Uh, he's a little strange. Well, we, we're getting out, and we can be alone in the woods, just how we like. Um, if that's the case, if we're actually alone, um, I, I do have concerns. We may have made a promise that we can't keep to the Marquis Eight. What do you mean? Whatever we find in that ruin, assuming that the, uh, Eerie doesn't get there first, we can't give it to the Marquis Eight. Well, they don't even know what's there. We could just give him something, and then get paid, and then screw it all out. That's a good idea, but if, uh... I guess we'd have to convince them that, that the, whatever they were looking for wasn't actually there and there was no powerful. I mean, they know it's something powerful. I, I just... We all are in agreement that we can't turn over the, 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 the artifacts, the Marquis Eight. Oh, no. I wasn't going to do that. Were you going to do that? Absolutely not. Okay. I don't know what we're going to do with any of these things, especially once we have all four, but... I was thinking that we could use all of them and summon the Elk Lord or whatever his name is and let him just annihilate everybody. You, you think that's what's going to happen? Him. That that would be awful. We would He's so dead. dead. We'd be we'd be unleashing hell on, on, know, on the I entire Dimwood. You know, I were resurrecting his soul from the ground and he was going to march in here and just overtake the land. You know that's what happens anytime you start unearthing these old artifacts, right? You start summoning ancient evils and stuff. I didn't know you guys were trying to do I good. maybe it was ancient goods. Oh no, we're definitely summoning some kind of like horrific undead deer or something that's going to kill mostly everyone. I don't believe you. I'm kidding, it's Spooktober, let's go. Oh, I always get scared when this time. But I do like it because people leave pumpkins outside the houses. But are not supposed to take them, Hazel. Why would they leave them outside if they didn't want me to take them? And they even sometimes put nice little faces in there like it's smiling, asking me to take it. There were a lot of children that are crying all over the dim wood. Does it make... That doesn't seem like a problem for me. Does it make the theft more pleasant if they're smiling? Yeah, and sometimes they're making like a scary face like they're challenging me. And so then I take it and I say, ha! I'm not scary, little pumpkin. That sounds like rationalization for your horrible kleptomania. (laughs) If you leave something outside your house and it gets taken, it's your own fault. Probably those were some very large words. I'm I'm proud of you. (laughs) I've learned a bit since being around all you lot. (coughs) Well, I'm just saying. I mean, I would say next time you see a smiling pumpkin or an angry pumpkin, instead of thinking it as a pleasant invitation or a challenge to steal something, just think, oh, that might be someone's personal property. But why would they leave it outside? It's decoration. Haven't you ever decorated anything? Not with food. Well, sometimes people are weird and decorate with food. Well, they're going to lose a pumpkin. 
Well, I guess they can't secure it if it's outside their house. So. Exactly. If they yeah. want to decorate, decorate the inside. Now, I won't come in your house unless you make me mid. Well, it's just food for four. <laughs> What if they leave the windows open and you can see the pumpkin inside right on the windowsill? That still seems like breaking and entering well, to me. No, if I didn't break nothing and it's just sitting there, well, it's maybe like definitely windows. entering. No, I didn't enter nothing. I've never done that. It's just if it's on the windowsill, I have done that. I lied just now. But <laughs> most of the time, most of the time, if it's on the windowsill, the like wind, it's like. It, the wind can just blow it right off the sill and so really it's more like I'm helping them to not have the pumpkins or the pies or whatever might be sitting on the sill fall down and get destroyed so I gently take it and keep it safe in my stomach or my bag for later that's what we call mental gymnastics there's <laughs> another big word for you Grumley write that one down oh mental gymnastics okay and I pull out like a really sloppy notebook <laughs> I'm just turn right in. Uh, J I M dash. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Hazel, that's all that matters. And he's not going to sleep better than a belly full of pie. That'll put me right to sleep. Okay, so you are doing a travel by uh, the woodland. By the forest. Yeah. By the forest. Uh, as you trudge through the woods, you hear the loud snorting echoing through the forest. <laughs> The clanking yeah, of chains. The clanking of chains. You know, I that's exactly told what you why you heard that there was a quill ball sex dungeon somewhere near that place. I still don't really know what that means. Snap of a crop. <laughs> uh, well, I mark. I'll mark you to decay. This is the time I've I will also mark you to decay. I have oh. never wanted you all to um, fail more. Um, I will also now. mark to decay. Put a plus two. I'll give you one. Who oh, has it made a roll? Have we all rolled it? I haven't yet. She is Nikki has not rolled yet. Yeah. That's what I was gonna suggest. So you guys so are we're plus at one? Plus, plus three. Three. <laughs> Did we fail? Eight. Total? You rolled eight? I rolled a five. <laughs> you can, you can use the uh the root tease on this. If you choose to. Oh, adventure. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's let it ride. All right, show us the Quill War Sex Dungeon, Mike. <laughs> Quill War <laughs> Sex Dungeon. <laughs> I'm gonna give me a claw for this. <laughs> I was hoping for a low roll when you said you hoped that we failed it. So okay, you know. balls when you're so you begin your, to make your way through the woods, and the swampy soft soil gives thank way you, to Becca, oh, the nerd thank for you the so follow. much thank for you. the follow. Thank you, thank you, Becca B nerd. <clears throat> um. You hear it takes you a long time because the swamp gives way to dense, thorny forests. The Curious underbrush, the, the, <laughs> the <laughs> underbrush gets denser and denser, thicker and thicker. It takes you nearly uh, stab yourself on larger and larger thorns as you get further and further into this forest and. You have to make camp for the night several times, because this is a large forest. And in the night, you hear the rattling of chains, the cracking of whips. You see fires off in every direction. You, you see off in the distance, you see what looks like through the trees. It's wood, but it's not a tree. It almost looks like a, like a cross, like a large wooden axe. And you're not sure what it is as you continue to make your way. And you're starting to get a little spooked. It is spooked over. But these this doesn't look like like Vlad Pires. Tadpires. <laughs> like Vlad Pires. These don't look like Tadpires. And on one of these nights, you you are you feel like you're 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 getting lost. The the, the, the dense, thorny uh large thorns are interweaving above you and you have to take your time to go through you almost are slicing yourself and poking yourself and uh, the, you hear the loud snorting and grumbling and cheering and the rattling of chains, the cracking of whips and it's louder and louder and you can't tell in what kind of what direction it is and you get all turned around as you uh, 
make your way deeper and deeper, and suddenly you all just stumble over a large, uh, thorny root and stumble into a small clearing. Thank and there's nothing but blood. Oh, thank you, Blur Blast. 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 I apologize thank that you. you have to, to see this. You can't hear it, <laughs> you so can't, oh, yeah. I had to. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Interrupt me, please. I will. As you stumble and you see firelight, and all of a sudden you hear this. <laughs> as you see, <laughs> just a nightmare. As you stumble into the center it. of this clearing, there's a large, roaring bonfire, and all around you are hairy figures, long, uh, long, wide snouts with tusks. Uh, 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 ri- rising up to the night sky. Uh, all of them are wearing dark black leathers and uh, <laughs> chains all over their bodies. As you see that there are various uh, planks, crosses, all over chains, oh, no. and uh, some have whips, crops, uh, uh, paddles. As we, as we stumble into the clearing, I just want to be like, uh, oh, I'm, ble- I'm bleeding. The, the, the thorns were sharp. Uh, thank goodness the dim wood doesn't have any uh, grizzly sharks. Oh my god, what the hell is this? And immediately you stumble in. You see that you're surrounded and you hear all of the noises stop. As all of the eyes of dozens of these boars that have these shaggy backs that almost, uh, these shaggy backs that almost, uh, go out into porcupine quills. Quills boars. Very cool. And they are all just staring at you momentarily. Um, well, uh, it, it appears that we took a wrong turn, um, by Albuquerque. Um, we, we'll just be going. We'll just back up the way we came. We didn't mean to interrupt this lovely party that it looks like you're having. We That's certainly so don't want to dampen a good time. Um, have I ever uh, seen a boar before in my no. life? No. Did I even think they existed before? I would say that you know that boars and bears are, you know, are the wild, savage denizens, not of the common gentri- g- gentrified folk. Uh, deer are more of the of the mystical uh, whispered bugs. How many are there? Uh, there's probably about twenty <laughs> of both of 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 all of all genders all around you. <sighs> Maybe we should snort or something so they know when. Not- do they do they seem like they heard what I even said or could I, like understand me? Like I, they are all just staring at you. Like this is like probably ten seconds of silence as they're all staring at you. It's, it's, it's getting awkward. Look, a dance. Do, do a dance or something. What? A, a, a what? A dance. Do a dance. Uh, do a dance. Uh, uh, dance. I, take, I take my hat off and I do a little... <laughs> <laughs> I tap my foot, my frog foot to the time. Trying to make <laughs> some okay, well, and, and I And I am desperately smiling while I do make, this. Make a, make a roll, whatever that is. Uh, it is a roll for... Uh, uh, seeing myself trusting fate, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I could use charm instead of luck. And I'm doing whatever I, what is it, a mark in exhaustion to help him? Yeah, if you, yeah. Why? No need, I'm good. I got a, uh, 14. Cool. Wow. While he's doing this, can I just be reading the tense situation and seeing if any of the boars are, like, looking like they want to attack or <laughs> join us or, like... <laughs> Uh, as this happens, all of the eyes shift from all of you to book her. As, uh, as one who has a large pot belly and a whip cracks it and just... Uh, I jump back a little. Uh, hey. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reach into my bag. Fresh meat! Uh, 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 no! <laughs> no, 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 my friend, you misunderstand. I like your dance moves. Uh, oh, uh, well, oh, do yes. Oh, to speak. Um, uh, the name, the name's uh, Booker. Uh, it's nice to meet you. That's your name. Have you, do you, have you come? Did you get the event invite on the bulletin? <laughs> Uh, the, the, the invite on on the the bulletin the bulletin in in, in, in the previous uh, clearing that we yeah, made yeah it's the the fern life bulletin 
Oh, um, yeah, ab- absolutely. That's that's uh, that's that's why we're here. We but we but we can't stay for long, and we just figured we'd stop by and say hi and and, and get to know some of the great folks in the in the, in, the, in, the, in the fur life and and all of that good stuff. Um, this looks lovely. It really does. But I, I don't think we can stay very long. No, we can't. Uh, no. Well, and as you, you see, you only three of us have fur, so we don't that's really fit true. in. That's true. No, it's fur, like with an N. Fern, oh, Fern, oh, I misspoke. There's uh, another club, and then he, uh, I'll say, and he turns back, and then there's uh, there's a uh, a sign that has like a little picture of a firm and says uh, like Fern Life Meetup, and uh, you see that it, it looked like they were pretty aggressive, that they were all kind of closing in on those seconds. However, Booker's dance, they've all kind of kind of let up a little bit, and you hear one's like, oh, he's pretty good. <laughs> 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 and then another one's like, oh, I got deeds on him. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, 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 what was that? Uh, I'm oh. gonna uh. kind of sneak into the underbrush for just a second and put together um, using the seaweed that I had, some of the clan shells, and some big sticks. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna bring out some freshly crafted, I would say probably about 10 freshly crafted whips that have oh. clam shells on them. Ooh. No, we're not, we're not here for the party, we're just here for a delivery. Oh, special delivery! Especially the special delivery for Fern Life. It's yes. these new, um... Clam whips. <laughs> oh. Clamps. Oh. Cli- yeah. Wow. <laughs> Clips. Clamps. Clips. Clamps. What Peggy yeah. said. That's oh, cool. cool. Are you surprising us by ordering us some custom special? I didn't know you were in the clams, Crawl. <laughs> and then you see one. It's like, no, I didn't know. No, I didn't know. No, no. Oh, don't be so bashful. <laughs> and he uh, he lumbers up to you. And he uh, scoops it all up as he says, "Oh, what do we owe you? Do you have do you have a fr- like a fribble or something? I don't know." No, it's an awful time. Have you met a fool before, Froggy? Um, he said, "He said, well, what what does he owe you?" Oh no, nothing. We're just gonna be on our way. I'm sorry, I had a Yeah, I'm sure you did. Nope, absolutely <laughs> nothing. We're just going to be on our way. That's why we're here, just to drop them off. A tip is not included, though. Exactly. I tip my nose. Well, it depends on what kind of tip you're planning on giving us. So. <laughs> well, I think that some of the ladies would like to see you do another dance. Uh, uh, yeah, uh well, well, of course, it would be my... Absolute, with best clothes on! Uh, deepest, uh... I'm oh, turning into that guy yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> Here, Booker, put this on, and I <laughs> hand him. It's a clam bra tied together with seaweed. Uh, what the hell? Are you want to put this on? No, don't put They it want it. Put it's it on. It's very fetching. Oh, damn it. I, I like, <laughs> shimmy into the, the clam bra, and I take my hat off, and I... Woo-hoo! <laughs> 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 Safe passage through the woods. Uh-huh. Uh, right? And then after you finish, yeah. there's like stop, and they all our eyes are kind of dead, and they're glaring at you. And then, oh, oh, that's all. Oh, that's oh, that's yeah, nice. Yeah. And they all go yeah. walk out. They all, you get tipped a uh, four decay, one for each of you. Huh. Oh. Uh, you get tipped. Uh, they offer you some food. Um, and some refreshments. I'm like, oh yeah, no, we, we, we meet up here about uh, once a month. And uh, yeah, no, I mean, all the denizens are really afraid of us, but we're just, you know, it, we're just trying to have a good time. And but I think we're just misunderstood. Oh, so like, here's a pamphlet for Fern Life. Well, this has been very enlightening. We appreciate the hospitality and, and maybe next yeah. month we'd be able to join it. Yeah, and if you ever need any more like whips the bras or anything, uh, you just send out a notice to uh, Rosie the Riveter. She's the one that supplied all this. We're just the delivery people. She's very crafty. I'll have to make a profile. (laughs) (laughs) Please please do. (laughs) You you hear uh, one of the boards go, Oh, Oh. Oh, it does. I'm going to look like an empty Capri Sun. (laughs) (laughs) And then you hear one of them. They just, oh, sissy, you can't. It's a deep cut. Oh, my. Well, uh, we will be sure to uh, make sure that, 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 that your misunderstood nature does not go that way any longer. You are lovely, lovely people, and we appreciate the fun time that you showed us. 
No, well, thank you. Welcome to join. But we're just going to go about our business. You're welcome to join the night. You can just watch. It's oh. the first time. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a low pressure. Uh, no, oh, wow. we, we got uh, yeah, I don't think we could. Yeah, no, no, no. Next time. Next time. For yeah. sure, next time. Well, uh, t- take care. Watch out for uh, for tadpires. It is Spooktober. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, like, Goodbye. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll scare them off. Down there. Thanks for stopping by. And then uh, the, you all make your leave. <laughs> And you hear the cacophony is snorting. Uh, <laughs> resume. Resume. Oh, that looked really nice. I feel like that could have gone so many different ways. I was ready to kill all of them. Oh, I, I mean, there were 20 of them. What, what, what? Yeah, uh, with one swing, I can kill three. Whatever that's they... three, and then another swing, that's six. Uh-huh, yeah, And another swing, that's... I really only could grapple Six, them, but seven. I, I feel like that may have confused or sent mixed signals if I tried to grapple. I don't know. No, well, either way, we're fine. We, we made something in the woods. We actually gained resources for the first time. And friendship. And friendship. Well said. And snacks. And that's and the truth. Maybe a few like little cups of water, like, <laughs> some like, orange slices. <laughs> no, 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 like packaged. It's packaged snacks. I'm unholding some Vienna sausages. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? A goddamn lunchable? <laughs> oh, that's like, gross specialty, eh? <laughs> uh, and you finally uh, make your way through <laughs> another evening. You sleep at night, and you arrive on the outskirts. Of Godsmith. You uh, Godsmith. feel. Drakesmith. Drakesmith. <laughs> Come on, like. Well, I'm wearing Godsmith. Oh my god, their heads are melted! <laughs> <laughs> you arrive at Drakesmith. Oh I've been thinking about Prime way too much the past couple of weeks. Oh, um, your lost love calling, you know. Uh, so, with that, uh, as you make your way through, the thorns start to dissipate behind you, and you start to feel something that you haven't felt in a long time, maybe if at all, uh, ever. The sea air on your face, the smell of salt uh, in the air as you begin to hear the roaring of the ocean fall off in the distance. As once again, the, the firm soil gives way to marshiness, but it's less of the kind of dense bayou and more, it gives way to more of, of the marshiness that, you're, that could be more equivocal to uh, Port Wallow. Uh, as uh, you arrive at a bit of a salt marsh, and uh, oh, as no. as you approach, you still stay in the tree cover. As you see out ahead, it's a town, uh, but the, it seems to be in a state that's even less built up than Muckbed Creek. Everything seems to be uh, made out of, of reed and of wood, and all along the river, all built on stilts, uh, uh, huts and shacks, more or less. And, however, uh, you start to see where there's actually a great number of structures, all built up into the large swamp trees, the mangroves, rising up out of the swampy water. Large uh, wooden watchtowers, and you see bits of gleaming metal as the ocean stretches out, uh, I think it's the Seven Star Sea? Wow, how the fuck did I remember that? Uh, I can't even get Skinkerton right. And <laughs> stretching out the sea stretches out ahead of you as Old Tom's River uh, splits into a delta where this this, this town and the clearing is built. And you see a number of individuals making their way over dirt paths, winding roads, bridges here and there. Uh, but a very simple life. It seems to be a lot of uh, fishing, uh, a great uh, number of docks stretching out onto the ocean. It seems to be quite quiet if it wasn't for the great looming presence of the eerie soldiers flying all about. What do you do? I need a beer after that. Mm. I love where your head's at. Beer and a cigarette. Mm. Or sex. (laughs) (laughs) Now, this is a very dangerous place. But it's so nice. Yeah, this is, this is, I, I don't know if I've ever even seen this before. Have I seen the ocean? It's up to you. I, I don't think I've ever seen the ocean before. I, 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 the oh, air is, is, is almost, it smells different. It, it, this is, this it is. It smells salty like somebody's cooking, but perpetually. It's lovely. Truly. Uh, did, so is the Cat Empire like across an ocean? Or is it? Rich, you tell me. 
I'm, I'm just a like, GM that's like, I don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know what? You fucking tell me for once. <laughs> 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 The ocean's not all it's cracked up to be. What, what, why, why is that? It's just a bunch of water. Look at it. I've never been to this clearing. I don't think I've been this far south, but I took a ship across a great body of water to from from the the, the, the cat empire. The, the great are we cat on empire. the beach? You are in the you're like in the, in the kind of swamp oh. outside, and then there's a huge clearing out ahead of you, and the sea's off in the distance. So what you're saying? It's even bigger than this. It, it just keeps going. It's forever. What's it? It just I want to take a boat. salty water. You can't drink it. It's worthless. I, I want to take a boat. I, I want to see where you came from. Well, maybe one day we can go there. Sure. So th- th- there's more beyond New Felicia. There's more beyond the d- the, d- the Dimwood. I almost said Deadwood. It's more beyond the Dimwood. Look, incredible. Great, vast empires of cat domination. Great buildings. Is that a point of domination? Well, it's a, kind of a different kind of domination. Uh, not too far off, though. I'm not judging. I'm pretty open-minded. I've been reading the pamphlet all the way. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you, you have an open mind. Um, I, I, I told him I'd make a profile. I don't know what any of this means. All these buzzwords seem to be euphemisms of some kind. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, like drawn demonstrations as well. <laughs> that is that is crude. Stick figure. Very crude. <clears throat> wow. Um, well, well. Anyway, I mean, we're, we're here. We're here now. We made it. Uh, there's so much to see, but I, I guess we have to stay out of the eyes of the eerie, don't don't we? <clears throat> well, oh, well, I should probably take this off. <laughs> take off the tavern. <laughs> this is the Marquis Eight. Uh, the Marquis Eight Tavern. And I uh, shove it in my bag. Are we even going to be able to find a, a place to stay here? I mean, gods, what if they know our faces? What if they know? What if they know? What would they know our faces? Speaking of that, because of the high, whoever the has the high. lowest. Who has the, the, the most infamy with the Eerie, I would like you to make a reputation roll with someone that you do not know yet. Oh, did we go up last time? That's the only thing I forgot to You do. gained a bunch of infamy last time for the Eerie. Yeah, I I'm at minus one. I'm at minus one as well. I think uh, you're, you're probably one. How much out. did we gain? I don't know if I added that. You gained yeah, six. I didn't have a, six. I didn't have a pencil. Or was it eight? Was it four? Let me see. No, I, it's six. I have it written right yeah. here. Yeah, six. six. Uh, yeah, it was, so it was four infamy with the Eerie. Yeah, we didn't have a we didn't have a pencil last time. It was out of out of the. That is a little bit. Yeah, tiny yeah. little bit. So out of graphite. No, um, like how do you even write with this? So I think we're all minus one. Yeah. So whoever wants to make it. I'm. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm minus one. Who's feeling lucky? Wait. Hold on. <clears throat> I think I'm actually past. Yeah. So I'm actually one past minus one. Yeah, but I think we all are. Aren't we? We're, we're, I would say that would count. We're not quite as as yeah. at, at minus two. Whoever has the lowest like, on the track, I'm four. I'm four into towards the minus two. Same. Yes. Oh, I am. Oh yeah, yeah. I think we're so. All you're all, all the same. All... Okay. Someone would whoever wants to. I'll do it. I hate them the most. <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, two. Got it. Well, okay. what do you do? So we heard that there are lizards on towards the coast. So maybe we just like put our hoods up and we just kind of lay low as if we're just wanderers, not really vagabonds. I don't know if there's a difference. You think that they might give us some sort of refuge or a respite? Well, maybe. They at least have some connection to this. Why does it give it like a cold bug? And they, they, they worship a dragon? What if we take some of these clams and we just dig a tunnel? Dig a tunnel away? Yeah, quick before the Eerie comes. Well, um, we should definitely do it quick. But uh, dig a tunnel all the way across the clearing? Like to the beach, you know, or something. I'm pretty good at digging. We just each take two clams and we just start digging and digging until we get somewhere. Oh, it seems good. like a really long way away though, and it's kind of swampy. It's very I wet, but the ground's wet when I we die. I love that about this place. <laughs> you just want to like dig in the mud and yeah. just sit there. Because I don't have eyelids, so if I could just sink down into the muck, my eyes could take a rest. 
But you don't blink at all. No. What a horrible existence. I feel like we've been traveling together for so long and I never noticed that you don't blink. <laughs> well, that's because you don't look at me very much. You only look at the food I have in my hands. I suppose that that is a, a hard truth, but I should hear it. Your eyes don't ever leave higher than my mouth. <laughs> And my eyes are higher than my mouth. <laughs> that checks out. Um, well, that checks out. <laughs> why don't we just take a look around and pose as wanderers? As well, then we, should, wanderers. we should create new names then if we're going to do that because the last thing we want is someone to be like, hey, are you the infamous vagabond so and so? And we're like, oh, we're booger, grubbly, and frog. Like, it's not going to work, you know what I mean? Alright, what's we your mind in pose me? As a, a folk band. Oh, we could pose as a folk band. Oh, that's that a great idea. Really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can. Oh, and I take out my clams and I just start clinking my clams together. <laughs> that I'll, I'll be the clam you could player. Be, could be, <laughs> you could be percussion. Yeah, the, the clam player. The clams. Cl 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 the clams. The clams. More clams. The clams. <laughs> Yeah. Who, who could play the fiddle? Booker, can you sing? No. No, I, I don't sing. Grumley, can you sing? Hazel, I... can you sing? <laughs> Hazel, you're gonna sing. Okay. Grumley, what can you do? Well, you can sing. Remember when you sang? Um, um, well, Grumley always has gas. Things. Does anyone have a woodwind instrument he can play? <laughs> Does he have to put it on his... No, I just meant because he's full of air. Cheese, you're so gross, Hazel. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not so sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, what are your thoughts? I can we don't have musical instruments. I could be the bass player. <laughs> can you make it sound instruments? I mean, it's probably going to take like an hour. I've got a lot of cutlery, so we can all just play the spoons. Oh, you can play the spoons. Oh, do we have a jug? Do you have an empty jug? Someone can play I the can jug. Play. I can play the clam. Someone I'm can play the spoon the and you can sing. I'm going to take one of the bottles of liquor that I stole earlier and... Just chug it all and play yeah, Booker, you play the jug. Oh, all right, all, all right. And then you play the spoons, and you're gonna sing. It doesn't matter if it's good. Okay. What's the name of a band? The Four Clam Barrows. No, I don't think that's a good one at all. We could be the Soggy Bottom Crew. <gasps> oh yeah, no, that's getting close. Is crew the right word for a band? Would it be the Soggy Bottom Band? It could be. The Whistling Waddlers. Yeah? No. No, no. No. No, no. The, no I do like Soggy Bottoms pretty good. The Wayward no, Waddlers? Does, no, but the Soggy Bottom, the problem with that is it makes me think of a diaper. Oh, what about this? The Vagabonds. I used to know. Cool? No, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, that's what we were trying to know. Oh, oh, that defeats the purpose. Oh, you're right. I'm Rumley, sorry. Rumley, you sweet um, summer pug. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not very good at this. I'm not very creative. No. Um, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. The bag of, the bag of bottoms. <laughs> That's only slightly, <laughs> marginally better. Uh, Vaga is still in there, but yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. That's actually on your pamphlet. <laughs> Vaga bottoms. I was gonna check that. I, I thought there was just a suit of Vaga I'm not sure. Marginally better. Uh, we're getting somewhere. Where are you from again? I know we just came Muck from Muckbed Muckbed Creek. Okay. And where are you from? No, who cares? And then where are you from, Hazel? I'm from Nookington. Okay, so we could be the Muck Nook what? The of nook. New Felicia. <laughs> the Nookie Bottoms. We should oh, we mention could be, Felicia. We could be the Warty Bottoms. <laughs> that's worse than... That's worse than Foggy Bottoms. <laughs> Forget. Yeah, no, I think we should yeah. just stick with the Foggy Bottoms. What about the Muckbed Jamboree? Oh, that's that's actually be... pretty good. I yeah. like that one too. No, I like that one Muckbed too. Muckbed Jamboree, all right. Nice. But that could be the name of our first song. Well, we're it's gonna play. And now, song. welcoming Foggy Bottom to the stage, performing the Muckbed Jamboree. And then you play on your jug, and you play on your spoons, and I'll play on my clams, and you just make up words. 
Well, then we get, it's just obvious that we're from that muck bed creek. And then, it, oh, that's why we're here, because it's yeah, but if I'm, over. if our name was the muck bed jamboree, it would be even more obvious that we were from muck bed. Well, I'm saying that's a good thing. Because well, it's close by. It's oh, and then we could proximity. say that we ran out of muck yes. because the cats overtook it, and exactly we are fans right. of the Eerie. You are so smart, exactly the both right. of you. Okay. The muck bed that was all rumbly. I'm just well, holding the jug. Huh? If it weren't for you, we wouldn't all have soggy bottoms. Fair enough. I, I guess I, I'm lost. Oh, but now, lost now we need rock star names. Oh. Um. Pink for me, I can't do this, my brain hurts. <laughs> uh, uh, you can be Pug Floyd. Pug uh, Floyd? This, yeah. Pug Floyd? Well, yeah. Is that just weird? That would be like you being named Frog. <laughs> uh, that's a good point. You know, that's actually not a bad name, though, for a rock star. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the name Everett. Oh, that's a good one, that's sure. Nice. Yeah. That's it, I'm gonna be Everett. All right. I'm gonna be. You could be Adele. I could. That doesn't sound very. Because you like to hang out in Adele. Oh, that's great. Adele. That's yeah, Adele. You'll just be Adele. <laughs> okay. I'll be Adele. I yeah. like that. It's a good one. And then Pug Floyd. Are you coming up with something I'll different? I'll just be Floyd, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Yeah. That and what really are you? Good. Are you frog? No, I was thinking that I was gonna go as. Um, David Crokey. <laughs> I like it. It's got a certain ring to it. I'll just, I'll just be Crokey. Okay. Yeah, Crokey. Crokey. Oh, Everett. Froggy Stardust. Fro <laughs> yeah, Froggy Froggy <laughs> Stardust and the spiders from Mars. Oh my god, yeah, no, I'll just be Crokey. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Crokey, yeah. Floyd, Everett, and Adele. Adele. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Are you sure you don't want to be the singer? Why don't you pass no, the jug no, to Adele? No, 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 the jug's mine. All you right, Everett, all right, it. all right, Everett. All right, so we're good. Everett. So is she well, we should get off. Is it Floyd? Floyd, Floyd? Floyd, yeah. Are we settled Floyd, on that? Floyd, yeah. And what are you playing? Did you ever even get an instrument? A spoon. I'm, I'm playing the, the upright bass. No, you were playing oh, the you're spoons. You're playing the spoons, Grumley. We, we don't have the upright bass. I don't know how to play, play a damn jug. You just the play it in it and smack your own shit. I take out <laughs> no, a, please don't smack I, your own shit. I take out a wash basin <laughs> and I shove uh, a, uh, <laughs> a stick through it. Uh, can I borrow a string? Yeah, sure, and I take out the ball of cat hair, and you yeah. start pulling it apart, and I, I twine it together the way you would with yarn to make a, to make an actual <laughs> string, and I tighten it. And it's very deal. dark in here. And I'll tie one end of the top and one Gwen's end of the bottom, frog. so it's like one of those. <laughs> Gwen's the frog is And so, so it's literally just a, one string tied on a stick. Have you seen like those old yeah. school like? It's literally, it's literally a uh, uh, what oh, they call them. Um, oh my god! I'm gonna think of it. it they have like a really goofy name. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a. It's like the we'll old like bluegrass, yeah. like it. like wash yeah. wash yeah. tub yeah. Uh, bass. Uh, I can just play this. It only plays one note. It's like. <laughs> 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 like I can do this. Uh, so this is what I play. Uh, the upright bass. Or spoons. Maybe I'll hit spoons on it. No, don't do that. Alright, I'll just play the bass. You play that, I'll play spoons. What are you doing? I've got the clams. Oh, the clams. Like a, yeah. Like a clambarine. Yeah, clambarine. That's good. Yeah. Percussion. That's great. Percussion. So, are we just going to kind of... And I've got my feet. ...play our whole way to the to, to this lizard cult and just well, hope no, that we just play our way really there? really just a... Well thought out backup plan. <laughs> yeah, just in case something uh, happens. No, we should we should play our instruments as we go through, so it's clear that we're a band. Oh yeah, but then we draw attention to ourselves. Oh, that's true. But then they know we're a band, not. Yeah, but I think that that's Megamons. only a good idea if the attention's already drawn to us, and we need to be like, oh yeah, hi, we love attention. Bong 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 bong. Click 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 click. click, click. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> and then, however, Adele would sing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can we stop doing this and just form a, a woodland band? <laughs>
You can do literally whatever you want. It Relics. Is, it is it, the, it would be less, nah, we're going to make it big. It would be less of a, a chance of dying, yeah. I suppose. Uh, it would be a pretty good life if we could travel from hey, clearing to clearing. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you. If we could travel from clearing to clearing making music, I... Uh, I'd be really nice. Everybody loves musicians. And they get lots of free food. Oh, you know, it just... There's something about being on the road again and, and just going places that I've never been and seeing things that I may never see again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Are that you sure clear. you don't want to be the singer? I feel like Adele's going to be great at it. I do. Uh, I just feel like you could write songs about things that aren't pop. Well, I, I, just, I just really feel like, you know, uh, my fine love is making music with my friends. That's what we're doing right now. So he's pretty good. You just said you don't play any instruments or sing. I, I don't, but I'm thinking about taking it up. There's something that's just speaking to me. It's, it's, it's in my heart. There's music in my heart. This, this might have been a calling I never knew. Yeah. Well, we should probably get going. Let's go. Yeah. Well, Who's all that? right. What was the name of our group again? Uh, the the Muckbed Jamboree. Jamboree. The Muckbed Jamboree. The Muckbed Jamboree. Muck Jamboree. All right. Well, Floyd... Beelzebub and Adeli. It was Everett. Oh, I'm sorry. Everett and Adeli. Let's go. All right. I just kind of like tuck the jug like under my arm and like begin to like follow. So I'm just caring of whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> I take off, uh, I find a piece of cloth and I rip it and I make myself a really awesome headband with a star on the front. <laughs> so we're doing this. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So you see as you march your way into the clearing, the newly formed Mugved Jamboree, uh, you start to see that... There's see, that was my reference, scene. I'm glad you picked it up. I'm glad you picked it up, That was That was 100% my, uh, what I was going for. And we are the mix Mash pizza slices. <laughs> there, there seems to be a bit of... Um, of franticness in, this, in the eerie soldiers. You see that this is, uh, what kind of clearing is this? Can you remind me? Nah. Uh, it's a uh, eerie. Uh, rabbit? No. Oh. Let's uh, check. Fox. Fox clearing. Fox. So you see that there's a bunch of, uh, Why is that bad? Oh, a bunch of swamp foxes <laughs> walking around. Some are, 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 are clothed in the eerie blue taverns. But it seems as if, uh, that there is, uh, the, the eerie soldiers are flying around and they're they're checking uh, various perches and you see there's large warehouses that uh, seem to be bare and empty. As uh, you probably realize that the that the eerie that this clearing has been cut off from uh, the entire supply line um, from from Okax Hollow. Let's look. And you see that there are as you make your way into. Uh, Deeper into this uh, into this town, the river Old Tom's River was splitting into the delta into all these various small streams and the swampy soil. You make your way to the actual town proper, and it doesn't take very long at all before you hear the flapping of wings, as <clears throat> what as what seems to be a, a heron swoops in a great blue heron finally dressed. Wait, is this one of those long-legged birds? Yes. Yes. A long-legged, long-necked, long-billed long heron. Here and not know what a uh, great blue heron is. I don't know. I just love that they're on the license plate says so long-legged yeah. birds. Uh, wearing a blue colors, but um, uh, very finely dressed in a coat. He has kind of this, uh, these uh, gray and uh, blue feathers all, uh, uh, on either side, as he lands immediately in front of you, uh, two guards at either either side, as he uh, lands and he surveys you. Hi. Hello. Uh, how, how's it going? New Yo. refugees. Uh, uh, maybe that's one word for it, but more like we prefer travelers, which is just traveling. Yeah. Also refugees. From where? And he pulls out a uh, clipboard as he begins to flip, flip through. I need names. Uh, 
Oh, well, my name's Croaky. It's from where? Oh, from uh, from Bad Creek. Bad Creek. We, yeah, we just got run out because of the mean old. Kitties. I don't know if you heard, but there was a horrible assassination of birds there, and now those stinky birds. cats have moved in. There's hairballs everywhere. And they, disgusting. you know, those stuffy old cats. They don't know how to have a good time. And when you're part of a band, and we are, yes, you right. need you need people who like to have a good time. And those stuffy old cats, they don't know how. That's right. Such a shame. But I'm sorry, I'm croaky. Everett. Floyd. I'm Punk Floyd. I'm Adele. Well, you're clearly not from around here. If you were looking for supplies, you came to the wrong place. Oh no, we were just looking for a place that didn't have lots of cats in it. Yeah, or a bunch of quill boars that are fucking in the forest. <laughs> Neither are here. Yeah, I know, but we're avoiding those. We were just gonna take a sleep, I think, and pass them through. Yeah, if that's all right. You are not with the Marquis Eight, are you? Oh, absolutely oh, not. No, no, no. We, 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 we tried to escape them. Do I, you know a left. single member of the Marquis Eight that likes a good time on music? How do you feel about freedom for the denizens? What do you mean? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't care for it. I mean, what even really is freedom? Right. Does anybody have freedom? I mean, freedom, freedom isn't free. Uh, free right. will is just That's an illusion. Uh, am I right? Freedom <laughs> is a terrible burden that most cannot handle themselves. And we certainly wouldn't be members of any kind of wooden alliance if that was something that existed. Yeah, because, you know, they're aligned with those quill boys that are fucking all over the forest. I think, at least. I don't know. And what are your religious beliefs? Oh, well, that's a really personal question. You are in my clearing. Yeah. Travelers. I believe in the great dog in the sky. I'm... It's a dog religion. Quaint. Um, 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 uh, the music. Music is my religion. I've devoted my whole life to it. Yeah. It just it, it, it entrenches every uh, fiber of my being. The uh, music of the soul is, is really what is uh, the, the true beauty. Uh, the spirit yeah. is nothing but a musical note. Well said, Peggy. Well said. Who well Peggy? said. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, I, I say, uh, I meant... Uh, no, no, it was, a, it was a slip of the... It's what I call my jug. Peggy, Peggy. I like to blow on Peggy. I like to blow her real good. <laughs> I like to give her the old... Uh, who, 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 the old who -ha. The, He likes to give Peggy the old tulip slip. That's it. This like... is, uh, this is Peggy. My, my rusty, trusty pe <laughs> Peggy. Trick it at me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give him the thing. I'm gonna give him the business. I'm giving him the bad night. I'm gonna oh, give him the business. Damn. 12 as I, uh, uh, sometimes you tell on, the dice on Peggy. To do. <laughs> he flips it. He flips his, his, uh, his uh, clipboard and then he, it's actually a, it's folded into a book and he slams it closed and he says, I am the chief inspector of this clearing. Do not forget my face, and I will not forget yours. Yeah, I okay, so but what's your name? Quast Starfall. Oh, That's a mouthful. Wow. Qu 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 Did you say Queef Starfall? Qu Queef Starfall. Stay safe. Stay, stay away from the shore Quaffle. of midnight. Stay away from the shore. What happens at yes. the shore of midnight? Oh, did he say his name was Waffles? Waffles. I think Costas Starfall. The shore at midnight. So. What, 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 no, what happens at the shore at midnight? He's right. <laughs> The, 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 the pug is the one with the listening comprehension. Well, he's, he's got he knows no, a lot of big words. Well, we're studying. all listeners because we're musicians, but you were saying something about a starfall or something. That is my last name. Uh -huh. I thought you said it was Waffles. We don't have last names. Yeah, we're just not... filthy peasants with instruments. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> sure, well, that is the most believable thing spoken. you've said this entire conversation. Uh, but <laughs> thank, with that, you are free to go. Oh. Stay away from the shore at midnight. In the shore at midnight. Uh, if anyone calls you, beckoning the wayward souls, ignore uh, them. If you uh, see a lizard beckoning, ignore them. Uh, all, yeah. all right. Uh, what are they beckoning uh, for? Duly noted. Uh, yeah. Goodbye. And he turns Goodbye, and flies waffles. away with his, his, uh, his soldiers. 
That was so strange. I never thought that birds would be named after breakfast treats. I know, that's like a cruel trick. Yeah. He's just got to hear his own name and I he's just hungry for pictures. I didn't catch any of that. Was, yeah, like, something. Quatzel, uh, something, yeah, something. Something, 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 well, no, he just says his name. Shuffle. That's what he said. It's like you got Flynn. Do you think maybe you could write that down for us? Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I could. If you get that right on the first try, Booker's gonna give you a coin. No, I didn't agree to that. <laughs> Why do you always help him with his cons and you Why never help you me with mine? <laughs> oh, very what nice. What are you oh. talking about? Grumbly, you have lovely handwriting. <laughs> Don't stop. Don't stop. Uh, that's not what I think he said. Oh, bravo, Rumley! You oh, have stuff. you been working on your penmanship? <laughs> well done, my friend. And you know, Hazel, I resent that because if it hadn't been for me, you wouldn't have been able to steal all of those birds' food that last time that we were in that place. I don't when we that. almost got that butler fired. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was terrible. That was well, terrible. Well, he didn't get fired. No, That's the moral of the story. That's true. So anytime you need someone to help you steal a lot of food, you always know you can count on me. Okay, Just like anytime Booker knows that he needs to make some coin, he can always count on me. Exactly. Sometimes, like, I just get mad because you help him hurt me. And I help you hurt other people. But I want to hurt him sometimes. <laughs> Alright, well you just gotta ask. You gotta get up pretty early in the morning, kid. Yikes. That's not my speed. Maybe tomorrow. It's always tomorrow. Tomorrow's always a new day. So... Now the con begins. <laughs> you gotta... You gotta say it when he's out of earshot. Oh. You make your way <laughs> to the sleepy clearing. <laughs> The, the sleepy clearing of Drake Smith, as uh, there's, there's a variety of huts, there's people on their porch keeping an eye on you, uh, <clears throat> creeks as far as you can see, people have uh, fishing uh, fishing rods uh, with bait and tackle, others are rooting around in the muck looking for a little crawfish. And there's a number of buildings, uh, and you see that probably the largest of the, uh, it seems to be a, a tavern, like the large, uh, there's a bit of a main street area that's across um, several uh, several bridges in this town, pretty close to the shore. And uh, it's, as you arrive, you see that there's a large boardwalk all along this this beach. And you see that the, that the beach kind of makes its way, uh, it kind of gives way to patches of rockiness that once again uh, turns to soft sand. As you see, the, 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 the sea is right before you, stretching out in its glorious expanse as you arrive at the very edge of the Dimwood. And you see that there is a, uh, a, a relatively large uh, tavern, at least for this clearing. As you see, a number of eerie soldiers are, are perched on, on either side of it. Uh, they seem to be perched on all of the relevant mangrove trees that are sticking up out of the swamp. And uh, you see that it's called um, uh, Two Old Cats. <laughs> and uh, there's a variety of other. <laughs> Wait, the, the inn is called Two, Two Old Cats? Two Old Cats. Fucking <laughs> 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 Should we get a ruby? Uh, if they'll, if they'll give us one, I, I, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Hello, sir. So you arrive. You arrive into two old cats. Gross. And how does you, it smell into? <laughs> it smells like cheap old uh, cats. Alcohol oh. and cat. And cat. As you see, uh, uh, out ahead, that there is a very morose kind of somberness to this place. There are a number of patrons that are slumped over the bar or sitting at tables. You see that there's one uh, female fox in a bonnet staring off uh, the window off into the sea. And you see that uh, that she's staring off in the direction that there's actually a crudely built uh, lighthouse of sorts with a large uh, a torch in there as the, the sun is starting to set at this point. And uh, you see that there's actually a place for a stage uh, and with, a, with a picture of a large, what looks like a large, is it a massive fish? But with rather than teeth, it's these long, strange, brush-like teeth. 
uh, which would be probably a whale. Uh, I don't know if any of you know, would know what a whale is. I wouldn't. And, yeah, and you see the painting of this in a great uh, sea uh, scape, and you see one very old cat uh, behind the bar as uh, he looks at you and he has these uh, thick spectacles as he turns and says, like, hey, new, new customers! Hello, how are you? You're in with him with lions, folk, are you? We don't take radicals here. No, we're, we're, just, we're, just, we're just travelers. I've lived my whole old life here in this clearing, and I ain't getting myself me something no trouble. I mean, we don't mean yeah. anybody any any harm or no, any trouble. Not a room. It we're just food. we're just a traveling band of musicians, and we're just looking for a place to sleep. That's right. I frankly didn't expect a cat in this clearing. Well, I, I lived here my whole life when the when the Marquis A took it a long time ago when I was a young man. Is there another old cat that's here too? Yeah, it's my brother. Just because I'm a cat doesn't mean the Eerie's just gonna kill me. They know my loyalty, which is why I'm not trying to make, get mixed up in any Marquis A business. Oh, we already, we met the, the, uh, the chief inspector on our way in and he let us proceed in so you can bet your um, bottom dollar that we are good people. What Hazel said. Hazel? That's your, is that your name? I mean, Hazel is my is my uh, is my my jug here. I, I love to just blow on Hazel. I just blow on her all what day you, and all what that. Do you mean? <laughs> See, doesn't Hazel sound beautiful? Listen, watch again as I blow on Hazel. <laughs> we should give him a little show. Yeah, and Deli start singing. This has to be a roll. Uh, this has to be trust fate. Whoever would like to roll, trust <laughs> fate. <laughs> fate. I have terrible. I have, I have plus one luck. I have two. I have two luck as well. You do it. Oh. You're you're a singer in Delhi. You're a Delhi. That was you're terrible. Terrible. <laughs> 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 For what it's worth, we've been traveling very far, and we're, we're a little rusty, and we're all very tired. Oh, not our best performance. But my spoons are just a little out of tune, you see. In them. That wasn't the best. Hey, hey, it's just warm. It's warm up. It's just well, a warm up. We would travel in all day long. Yeah. My, that's about what my old bassoon player used to say. <laughs> oh, oh the, the bassoon. He used to play the bassoon, yeah, when he first started here, he used to be the sole musician that would play. He would bring the people, well, it weren't much, but it would at least bring a little bit of warmth until he caught on fire and died. Oh. What? I, I don't think he was playing it right. He caught on fire? Oh, I mean, how? The, the, the whole bassoon? Or just him? Or what? How? Yes. Oh, my ankles. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Does that does that happen regularly here? Only if you go out fishing to the wrong place at the wrong time. The sea is boiling hot, and you just kind of. Is that like a like a like an old man's tail, an old cat's tail? Like, like we can't touch the water. We, we can't well, it was an old cat, an old man's tail until people started. Catching on fire and dying, <laughs> like <laughs> just just to be just to be clear. like old bassoon. <laughs> I can look at you and your face. So I, I I don't I don't mean to interrupt. I, I just want to be a hundred percent clear. Bassoon bar talk. So what you're what you're saying is that you, you don't want us to bring you any trouble, but people are bursting into flames in this clearing. Oh, ain't that just the way? <laughs> I, I think we've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> We'd like um, two rooms, please. Oh, what? We do? What room? Oh, one room. Uh, one room. I don't want to burst the flames. We, we, we can't stay here. No, we're not, we're not going to go fishing out in the ocean. I said don't touch the water. We, don't, we just don't go near We're not going to go anywhere near the water, especially not at midnight. We do need a room. Oh, that's room. when old Batsoon Bartog caught on fire and died. I know Sad a song about Bartok. Oh, I was trying to write a song on his memory, but I'm a terrible bassoon player. I don't have the embouchure. Oh, 
Stop me off, Grumley. The bar talk song. I, I don't know what you mean. Uh, yes, maybe, you may, do. maybe just start playing a little um uh, a little bass line there, Grumley. Old Bartok died. He was caught on fire by the water and he died. <laughs> <laughs> That's the old song. <laughs> it was the first song I was thinking of that uh, well, See, we're, we're warming up. We're getting better. Trust me. <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting better. Yeah, no, that was Trust the whole song. Trust me. Trust me. Oh. Oh, please. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, no, oh, wow. it's good. It's good. Um, 11, 13. He leans down. He leans down. He, as you're playing, he leans down, disappears behind the counter, and he pulls out a crossbow and points at you. <laughs> but I forgot to mount this on the <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta. Uh, uh, um, I, I, might, I might need to change uh, uh, my shorts. Um, uh, it's all right. Uh, now you best be getting uh, out of my inn, is what I would say if I didn't have an ear for music. <laughs> uh, uh, this this conversation has just been at uh, ups and downs. Uh, I, I don't know what to expect next. And you see a single tear roll down his old cat face. It's graying for. He's, such a, he's just too old for a cat. He's too old cat. <laughs> As a single tear goes down his cheek. Gotta <laughs> change the bag of bottles. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's exactly right. Thank you, MJ Tags. Thank you. Uh, uh, good thing I packed that, extras. Uh, that was a beautiful tribute. I could almost hear the bassoon when you gave old Hazel a blow. <laughs> Boy, do you give old Hazel a, my, a mighty fine blow, young man. That's right. She's, she's, she's a rotund one, but she does a good job. And I just pat her inside the You know, I used to know an old hair that would say, that sounds like my ex-wife, but I'm a gentleman. Well, how about y'all? Y'all real good. How about I'll give you free room and board if y'all... Play a spell every night for a couple hours. Uh, 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 hours? Uh, 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 entire yeah. Yes, hours. Yeah. Y'all yeah. don't have a full set? Uh, oh, no, no, of course we do. Of course we do. Of course we do. Adele has the deepest pipes of anyone I've ever heard. They're very deep. They're like She's infinity. got the deepest pipes. Uh, at least. Um, yeah. I just, 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 does the free drink come with that? I gotta keep, I gotta stay real moist if I'm gonna be blowing on Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> he looks at you and he says, That is disgusting. <laughs> Lee True, you need to wet your whistle. <laughs> and he, oh. he shuffles over and pulls a bottle of old of old like grog. It's oh. hard to tell what it is. Well that it's mostly seawater, but you, you you'll get used to it. I uh, megas can't be choosers, I suppose that's well, uh, cheers. Uh, my friend rations are real low in this clear and folk. There's oh. Oh. there's the, ever since the the those backstabbing, <laughs> filthy, no good otters took over, took over Macbeth Creek. Oh, the supply line was cut. Well, that's uh, terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. That's awful. That's where we're from. We saw it all. Yes. No. So sad. What's your bad name? Did you tell me? I forget. It's the um the Macbeth Jamboree. That's a little. That's a little on the nose. Well, yeah. Um, we wanted to make sure we weren't confused. Oh, on the nose else. is an old Laughlin family saying for that's great. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good to know. What'd you say, Laughlin? Laughlin. I'm Jimmy Laughlin. Oh. I run this place with my brother Quincy. Oh. Laughlin? Quincy Laughlin. I'm Jimmy. But no, but your brother, he, Quincy. Yeah, he's Quin Quin Quincy. Oh, I'm just clarifying. It'd be mighty strange if he had a different last name. You never can tell. Yeah. Can never be well, too sure, I always say. In, well, <clears throat> in, in this family, in this clearing, you don't survive being, being a talent liquor like my family has cats and drinks with. 
doing what we can by changing yeah, well, your name. You know, we're not a lick of anything but Hazel. It's true. We're just Hazel licking our way to notoriety. Well, feel free to get yeah. set up. Let me know what you need. I'm sure Quincy will be back from he'll be back from fishing soon enough. Hopefully he doesn't get Oh yeah, didn't you just Hopefully say he doesn't come bust and die. <laughs> Wait, he he's fishing. Hey, he's fishing, yeah, that's that's right. He, he's a true fisherman at heart. He's also the lighthouse keeper. Uh, how long has he been fishing for? Since people have been bursting into flames. Since when we were young kittens. Is he not worried that he's just gonna woof? Well, he don't play no bassoon. You think that's what caused him? I don't Only know. I don't know. I'm an old cat who's too old to be thinking about how things work. Well, I suppose that if only bassoon players are bursting into flames, then we're probably all safe. Well, no, many folk are bursting into flames, but they're going to they're going out on the on the to the lights on the reef at the at midnight in the middle of the night when they ain't supposed to, when the, the proper authorities are trying to keep them safe. Oh. Um, I, I see. I, 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 I guess we, we were warned, warned about that, so, so we, as long as we steer clear of whatever's going on, on the on the shore at midnight, then, then we should remain un, unsinged, uh, if you will. Yeah. Uh, well... We better go up to our room and uh, put our things away, right? What time is it? Yeah. Roughly. Uh, it's probably, like, five-ish. The sun is just setting at this point. It's autumn. It's spooktober. <laughs> um, you've heard the reports of the Vlad Pyres. Uh, Tad Tad Pyres. Pyres. Fuck the Tad Pyres. As uh, the Pinkertons are, are going in from the, 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 the Grinch's doom, the and as they uh, as right. it's 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 late. Thank it's, you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Oh, thank you. Pete Quando, thank Pete you. Pete Quando, I'm sorry you're you're coming in. Well, I, I I suppose we have to um uh, maybe prepare for our set uh, uh, to to the room, everyone. Um, uh, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. We need to, we need a uh, band hustle before we Can start I, our set. All right. Can we address yeah. what Leafy said, which I think is very he apropos? Has two keys. Um, he said not the or no, it was Lone Guard. It's not the advertising Magpie thought of, but it's the advertising they need. <laughs> you know we do it we can. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Magpie. Well, thank you, Magpie. I uh, thank you, and I'm sorry. Thank you, yeah. thank you Magpie. Well, everybody come along. Uh, and, two rooms! And, and uh, you too, Hazel. Um, uh, you're going to be worked tonight harder than you've ever been worked before in your life. <laughs> <laughs> he reaches out and he pulls the crossbow out. Ah, I forgot Mr. Smudge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, please stop pointing at us. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, he handed you, you rusty keys. <laughs> <in the ceiling. laughs> he handed you rusty keys, and all the floorboards creak. They almost feel like waterlogged as you make your way up the stairs. There are two rooms, um, very, very sparse. Uh, a, a tiny bed in each one. Uh, not much else. Probably not very picky, but this place kind of is terrible. Uh, I can't believe that we did it. Even with Booker fucking up multiple times. (laughs) At least twice. He's sure to do it again. Uh, uh, I'll try not to. I don't know what happened. I just just slipped my mind. I was really worried about people bursting into flames. Honestly, that was such a really that was a really great way to avert their attention is to just say that your jug is named Peggy and then Hazel and then eventually Grumbly. Well, yeah. now you, the, the, now the bit is, is out there. I can't do it now. Um, well, I'm sure you'll fuck it up again. Yeah, uh, well, uh, maybe in case you do fuck it up again, maybe you write all of our names on the bottom of the jug, and then when you say, oh, yeah, that's the name of my jug, and you can turn it over and hide the names of whichever ones you didn't say and be uh, like, look, it says right here, Grumley. Uh, so uh, I'll right. take it into consideration, uh, for sure. Um, I'm sure you'll be blowing on Grumbly in no time. Right, right, right. Um, <laughs> I have no doubt. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's, it's 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 almost as if you you try to set up comedy in rules of three, and then it's almost as if no one else understands it. <laughs> it's a shame. It's a shame. Perfectly good rule of three right out the window. Anyway, people bursting into flames. That's a thing. Yeah, but it's only the people that are going out on the water, and we, oh no, we probably have to go out on the water, don't we? Because I bet that's exactly where the artifact is. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, I know, I'm most definitely right, I'm the smartest frog in the whole damn dim wood. 
So, do you think we'll burst in the flames if we're completely nude? <laughs> like maybe, you? I'm just saying, it could be your clothes. I, I think that we should try it again. Let's play until the night comes to a close. And before midnight, we're trying oh, we try to go out to play and take tonight? a look. Oh, yeah, that's what we told him oh, we'd do. Oh, shit, I thought we had to play tomorrow, and I was thinking about just skipping out of town. <laughs> now, he's given us some free room tonight, so we got to play tonight. Yeah, I guess that's true. Just a couple hours. Okay, Booker, tell us what we're going to do tonight. You're the leader of this group. Yeah, that, that's certainly not true. Yeah, um, I know, but I'm trying to make you feel like you're part of the group. Uh, yeah, all right. Um, well, we're going to play. And then and then I, I would like to stay away from whatever's going on at the edge of the river, but... I don't think we can do I, that. I though. have a feeling that this this one old cat's gonna lose the second old cat. <laughs> There's just something about the way he was wielding that crossbow, and the way he talked about the cat being out on the water that just felt like his imminent death. Well, he did say he was the lighthouse keeper, so maybe we can take a look from the lighthouse. What's going on? I mean, I think that we probably could because I guess that he's so old he can't see what's going on down on the water. I think that's probably true. Or maybe he's never bothered But I'm look. concerned because I can't blink. So if I'm out on the water and the wind's really strong and then I'm getting salt air in my eyes, do you think that I'm going to lose my sight? I just saw you blink. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Maybe if we just like, um, I don't know, some of the, 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 what's happening here? What's happening? I'm waiting to see if Peggy blinks what's again. Oh, no, you just blinked again! <laughs> I didn't blink. <laughs> I can't blink, I don't have eyelids. Do you have eye drops at least? What are eye drops? Can't you just oh, I have, a, I have a saline solution, but I don't know if that'll do me well when I'm near so much salt water. Well, ocean water could just work as saline solution. No, they're two different things. Either way, we should get ready for a set. And once it becomes night time, maybe we can meet this other guy, um, Quincy. And Who's Quincy? Oh, you mean the other, the other cat. cat. Did he even say if Quincy comes back or if he stays out on the lighthouse all the time? He said he'd be back soon. Oh. If, oh. Right, for luck, you know, one will even show up for this thing and we can just kind of see us our way through it so and then get to we, the end. Before we do this, though, we if we're going to be playing for hours, we have to have a set list. And I only made up that one song. And my song was terrible. Do you want to play the clams? I think I should. I'm going, all right, here's the clams. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, I think you were busy, but we Hazel and I sang a classic from the old cat empire called Oh Facey Tree. That's true. And maybe we could use that in the set list. All so right, let's do it. Song. So that we could, is that how we'll end the set with Old Facey Tree? Uh, we could just play it on repeat for three hours. <laughs> you know, if there weren't anyone in here in that daft old cat's there, he probably wouldn't even notice. Now, what are they going to do, complain? Uh, then to buckle up, here comes Old Facey Tree for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> we held up our end of the bargain, and that's all that really matters. Maybe if we really want to, um, to play to our audience, we should play Freebird. Well, how's it go? No, no. no I don't know. I'm as free as a every bird. bird. And then I'm gonna walk a into a room. <laughs> Do we have time to learn that? Can I learn that before we... I, I, that, I, I, I don't know how to play an instrument. You're just, just, just blowing in the hazel. All right. Oh, and you know, we can always... You can we can cage because they'll kill you violently. <laughs> Yeah. That might go over well here. On top of that, if, it, if the crowd's really getting crazy, we can play tequila. Oh, yeah. Well, all the way, Peggy, I think you're clever enough just to wing it. Oh, oh I could write a song called it. Wing It. Oh, very clear in. that wasn't even intentional, but maybe that song next song. You could even throw that in as a joke for yeah. the people of the Oh, I could write a. So, what is old oh, facey tree or whatever? It's old oh, facey tree. What facey is the facey tree? Oh, facey tree. I forget the rest. Um, 
something. Oh, please they don't, don't kill, kill us. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, that, this is something we kind of made up the words yeah. as we went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 again, music comes from your heart. I hummed along and I kind of tapped my foot a little bit. Well, we could write a song called Facey's Mom has Got It Going On, and it could be about the tree that birthed old Facey trees. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just going to play me one note. I'll, I'll be doing the same. Uh, it's about all I got. <laughs> So then what's the plan outside of that? So we're going to play for a couple of hours, then we're just going to go to sleep, or are we going to go down to the no, water? we're going to go investigate down. It? We'll, okay, we, we should take a look and see what the fire's on the reef for. That's crazy. So then what are we going to do if one of us or all of us bursts into flame unnaturally? Well, that's not going to happen. I don't think that we should do that, but I mean, we do have to go down there. I think we know. So I think there. the thing that confuses me so much is if they're bursting into flame right next to the water, why aren't they just jumping into the water? I bet you. Well, I think I know, but I don't want to say it because I, I think usually I'm wrong and then I'll get left. <laughs> yeah, but if you're right in this case, then there will be a lot of problems if you don't tell. Oh, them. Yeah, if you, if you have information that no, you might know, I, you, no, you should, should share with us. us. Yeah. I mean, think about all the different things that we've done, and um, like the trees were not like normal trees, and they were mean and violent because it was a. a, a what we were looking for was in them, so maybe the water's just mean and burny because there's a relic in the water, or near the water. Oh. See, that's why it's lighting people on fire and going against its nature. So when they jump into the water, it doesn't help because the water is made of fire. Well, this stag king guy is all about fire, yes. so maybe... Oh Lazy my god, fire. you're so right. He, they did say the ocean was boiling, too. So we're <laughs> gonna have... So essentially, we are all gonna have to get caught on fire and run into the water and hope that we survive. But it. we've got all these other... We, yeah, yeah. And we have the Vienna. Ah, uh, yeah, we, we so, do. I, I don't want to unravel uh, it again. Oh, we can we can pull a Moses on this bitch, and we can just part the Red Seas oh, yeah. quite literally because they're fiery red waters. I remember the tale of Moses. He led his people. Through yeah, Moses. <laughs> <laughs> he dug a tunnel through it the was water. Such a long journey. Yeah, he went Moses. <laughs> he went blind. Yeah. Wow. And that's why all the moles are blind now. Yeah. That's a From great story. Long journey through the Greenwood. Yeah, and he had those ten karatments. And it was all the rules that rats have that's to live right. by, because fuck rats. <laughs> Weird. I seem to little species is but I'm just telling you how Moses works. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the way, I think we should play a set and I think we should Maybe meet Quincy and go to the lighthouse and take a look from the lighthouse, from the safety of the so lighthouse. So how are we going to get out to the to the lighthouse yeah. without getting into the fire water, which is going to burn us smithereens? The lighthouse. How the be... hell? If the water's on fire, how is this one old cat even getting out to the lighthouse? Yeah, well, if it's just on like on a cape, like yeah. right on I the, mean, the edge of the water. Isn't usually in the water. Oh, it's not. Well, sometimes uh, it is, but not always. I'm I'm, I'm hoping it's not. not. I would like to not go anywhere near the water. Seems awfully confusing. Agreed. You take a look out your window, <laughs> and you see the lighthouse. No, 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 we've got this. <laughs> yeah, my You see the lighthouse <laughs> is... You keep your information to yourself. The, probably about three stories tall, as far as the buildings. And it is of this crude, uh, crudely constructed white stone all the way up, with a uh, uh, glass, uh, glass dome, and a beacon, a light, a torch that seems to spin around... And you see that uh, it is out on a small island, uh, several hundred meters off knew, the coast. I knew it wasn't attached to the mainland. What's the fucking point? Well, this complicates all. Maybe we just go down to the shore and try to, like, hide. Maybe you guys can dig like you've been wanting to dig with, the, with, with, with your clams and your hands and I can try to help. Let's just play our set. <laughs> okay. Sure, I'm ready whenever you're ready. <laughs> I did my stand up, whatever, jug base, or not jug base, a wash base and base, wash base in, hey. and I take it down the stairs. Okay. You all make your way down, and you uh, you see that there are a few more people, some crusty fishermen, mostly foxes. You see a number of birds, a couple seagulls, um, you know, a, an egret, uh, and a couple of uh, 
of shorebirds and the like, and uh, you see that they're mostly just staring into their drink, um, and you begin to play. Are there any any classic hits you'd like to play before we move? We start off with tequila. Now we play the we got to play the the bar talk song again. We're gonna play yeah. a bad rendition of uh, of O Facey Tree. Yeah. We'll play Free Bird, and then we'll play a song called Wing It. And and then lastly, <laughs> um, we sing Who Let the Pugs Out, and uh, there's a a bark solo by. <laughs> it's a very eclectic uh, mix of music. Uh... Somewhere in there, we sing Bird is the word. Uh, <laughs> Here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Uh, you, you like jazz? <laughs> you like jazz? Uh, you begin to, uh, you begin to play, dun, 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 like, no stairway! <laughs> you someone, oh, oh, sorry. Uh, his grumbly begins to play that, uh, and you go out, and then kind of towards the end, uh, you hear an old voice call out, as, uh, it's like, you, you, you hear the voice of, uh, Jimmy, you're fired! What? Uh, As I roast these peppers, this, you're fired up. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I'm going to be honest. I should have seen that one coming. But yet again, I, I just didn't. I, I don't know how. Every time, he, he just gets me. It's amazing, truly. Um, and so you you finish your set, and it's getting. And then I, I let we end with um, Jeepers Peepers, and it's about a it's about a, uh, a mouse with big eyes. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, it's about a mouse and the theory of Spooktober. Oh, an just, undead mouse. An undead mouse. I yeah. I think we should have catered a little to the fox clientele. Okay, so we play. Uh, what? Does yeah, the we hate. Say? We hate fox. We hate mice. They would be undead abominations. And then, and then we end with, "What does the fox say?" Oh, and you hear, <laughs> you hear uh, excited cheers. Yeah. And he's like, I, uh, "I don't know. How's your morning?" <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, no. I'm like, <laughs> Feel like you need some cultural enrichment, <laughs> but you're okay. Um, as you as you begin to uh, you fi- that, but actually it's <laughs> you finish your set and I forgot about that. <laughs> you finish your set and uh, the the crowd is mildly entertained. Uh, you, you hear some <laughs> some, some polite applause. Uh, you get some enthusiastic applause, but it's mostly just drunk, uh, sailors. Uh, pardon me. As, um, towards the end, as the rain has started to pick up, you hear the, the booming of thunder as the wind starts to howl. And towards the end of your set, you're kind of wrapping up, uh, you're finishing, you're, you're, you're putting away your instruments. And the doors flies open. Uh, with the wind, you hear the howling of wind, the pattering of footsteps, as you see a a hooded figure Uh-oh. in these, this long robe almost, completely drenched. As it steps in, you see webbed feet and feathers poking out from beneath. A long bill. As you see a, a pelican pull back the hood, and he says, Hey, the fish ain't biting today! As he walks over to the bar, and uh, you see Jimmy say, Oh, well, Quincy, did you catch anything? My question wasn't so stupid now, was it? <laughs> That's not even a cat, let alone an old cat. Are, we're not playing anymore? No, you're done. You're I done. immediately start it's playing an old- again, and I start playing potatoes and molasses. <laughs> if you want some, I'll oh, just ask us. And you play that, and you yeah. see the pelican. He also looks very old as he turns, and he uh, he says, oh, Are you fine replacement for the old bassoon barbarian? As he pours <laughs> uh, a drink down into his bill and swallows it. As I said, yeah, no, they're 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 pretty good. They're they're terribly great. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Ah, they just drive me to kill. Mm. <laughs> oh no, he, he talked himself into a corner on that one. There's no coming back from that one. He said what he meant this time. He's, he's gonna, he's gonna off himself because our music was so bad. He's that in. He's like that video. With joy. <laughs> 
I'm I'm gonna kill. I've got no. I got no. He wasn't. That's the problem. Um, oh, and you God. see, you see the eyes kind of look over you of the, of the old pelican. Oh boy. As he uh, looks and he, he turns in and leans in and whispers something to um to Jimmy. And uh, you're finishing your set. What do you do? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll be here for the rest of the week. Can I bow? That's right, we're Muckbed uh, Jamboree. Yep, you can find us not in Muckbed, but you can find us here. Muckbed Jamboree. (laughs) Do we know what time it is, roughly? Uh, it's probably... Probably ten. We've got some time to kill, I suppose, um... (laughs) We can, uh... Should we talk to him? We should... I really was expecting him to be a cat. Could, couldn't hurt. We should introduce. We should introduce ourselves. That's a great idea. And you, you owed that free drink. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, so, so, sorry to bother you, uh, gentlemen. Um, we, we just came to uh, get our free drink for the evening uh, after finishing up our set, and we wanted to meet uh, uh, your, your your brother, Quincy. Oh, well, yeah, this is my brother, Quincy. I told you all about him. And you see the pelican turn and move. I don't know that you look like young, traveling, strong, a musician, so okay. Yeah, we, we overheard you you talking to him, and we just assumed. Well, anyway, we didn't want to interrupt, but we figured we'd introduce ourselves and then, uh... Thank you learn, for the host, Ren Claw. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, learn a bit more about uh, what what you do uh, for, for a living, uh, Mr. Quincy, sir. Well, I'm fish. I fish, and when the fish ain't biting, I tend to the lighthouse. Not hard for me to get back and forth. Simple life, but my brother and I do what we can. Uh, are you not scared of the water? I am not afraid of the water. Why would I be? I'm a cat. What? I'm a cat. Cats are not afraid of the water. Oh, um. Well, uh, I mean. Yeah, didn't you hear him? He's a cat! Well, uh, I mean, what I meant to say was that your brother said that people were, were, were going near the water and bursting into flames. I mean, that, that, that sounds horrifying. Are you not scared of that? I didn't mean the water itself. Well, the water itself, if that's the cause, I'm, tr- I'm trying here. There, there be those bursting flames spontaneously, but I have faith that I will not be harmed by the fire. They're not true sailors. They do not have faith in themselves. Hey, um... Yeah. Uh-huh. What religion do you practice? I know that's kind of rude, but we were asked when we first got here, so I thought that was how this town worked. Yeah. What do he, you looks, he looks at you and says, Oh, what is a fisherman worship system? Sea, rivers, fish. I say a prayer to all of it. The Lady of the Sea. She's a great cat. Great. <laughs> the great wet pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Throw me your mature dream emote, please. No! <laughs> The great white pussy, you said. <laughs> Sorry, man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a religion here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, it's a religion in other places too, but but here I'm just surprised. Some oh, food worship, it is, it is, it is. Wow, you, le- you learn something new every day. Um, that's the beauty of traveling <laughs> to lots of different I've lyrics. i got a new song for the <laughs> <laughs> We'll see. <save it. laughs> well, anyway. Um, um, so, how do you get to your lighthouse? It's all the way across the ocean. Oh, well, I fly if the wind ain't too bad. I got a rule boat otherwise. Oh, is it just like parked out there, you know? Out on the docks, yes. Are you looking for fishing? Uh, I mean, maybe. I'm mm-hmm. looking to apprentice. I mean, we just, we don't, we really don't want to burst into flames. You know, cats are great fishermen. Of course. I could teach you a thing or two. Um, could you teach us something tonight? Around midnight, maybe. How long have you been a cat? <laughs> well, your whole life. That's interesting. Yeah. I, I, I want to make eye contact with, with uh, Jimmy and see, like, <laughs> <laughs> 
Does he? Can I figure him out? Yeah. Which one, Fine. Jimmy or Quincy? Jimmy. Okay. Uh, ten. Uh. So, so how does that work? Oh. You have to ask some uh, questions. Ask so three questions. Is this character telling the truth about what? About his feeling that Quincy is truly a king. So we were figuring out Quincy or Jimmy. Sorry. No, Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy I'm seems to be. It, I'll say it seems to be understood that they are brothers and potentially maybe even he was joined his family at a young age, but they are brothers and he feels like he is a cat, honorary or otherwise. Okay, so it's not like he is go. I just want, I'm trying to figure out if he's like going along with the crazy, or if he is also crazy and actually thinks that he's a cat. I I don't get. Yeah, I think that it's just more of like it could potentially be an honorary thing. It would be these the two old guys. It's a little, it's a, little <laughs> okay, that's a little sticky it's on the fair. fence. Started on the fence. And what are your other old. questions? Uh, yeah, you get more. Um, I'll hold them. I'll hold them. Okay. But they have to be directed to Jimmy if you decide yes. to use them. Right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. No. There's no, there's no one better in fishing than Jimmy. If you're looking to to go out onto the to the to the sea, I mean, I think the I'm not sure the Erie would like like any of you new folk to be heading out. It's very dangerous the later it gets. Uh, they did mention that. Have you um? Do you know about like the lizard people that live down that way? Oh, they're lizards. It's, it's more of a wide tail. Oh, it is. Okay. I, I think it's all overblown. Well, what is what? They just kind of said that there's lizards and that not to talk to them. So they're about wayward souls. Oh yeah, so yeah, that too. And then they would call you towards the water, and then now people are bursting into flames. Yeah, we're hearing a lot of things. We just want to stay safe. Well, and you see that we um, also want to go for the nighttime swim. Quin- Quincy Quincy leans in and looks and says, "There's safety in the words, safety in the gardens. It, it uh, like a like a literal garden, like like a like a like a real like plot of land. Or... Hey, soon, soon." I'm not sure what that. Well, can you can you teach us how to fish tonight? Thank, Thank you, you Warren. Warren. Well, 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 you have no you. idea what you just came into. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Uh, Thank, Thank you, Paul. You. Thank you, Warren Ray. So just to give a quick overview, we are playing uh, the first look at Root. Our uh, uh, our sponsors, Worm on Games. Uh, uh, they, uh, we're oh, playing- oh, oh, thank you, you so, so much. The resub. Thank you. Thank you. Our vagabonds have decided to form a makeshift band called the Muckbed Jamboree, and they're talking to an old pelican and trying to learn how to fish at like midnight or something. I don't know. <laughs> and there's a wizard cult, and he thinks he's a cat, and it's getting a little weird. Yeah. It is. It's getting. Weird. It's getting great. Yeah. So if you like That's weird, a, then this is where you should be. Or, <laughs> this is powered by the apocalypse system. Yes. You know. Yeah. Um, check out their Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh, it ends in like a week and a half. Um, all right, so, uh, if, I mean, you'll keep us safe out on the water if you teach us how to fish. And, and maybe teach us those words. Safe, safe, team words, you said. We like to learn stuff and things. Yeah, and what's this thing? Because, you know, like, a garden can't really be spending all of its time near the ocean because then what happens is, like, the tide comes in and the water gets into the garden and all the plants die, which is completely the opposite of what you want for an actual garden. So I don't really know what you mean by garden and also go down by the water. Also... Do you know what type of cat you are? Uh, an old cat, man. Yeah, yeah. Too old cat. Yep. But anyway, that thing about the garden. Oh. And then the words, the, the, the safety in words. Safety in words, if you have trust in the sea, in the garden. All wayward souls are meant are welcome. Where do you come from, Brent? Uh, it's it's right in the band name, uh, Muckbed Creek. Yeah. With the Muckbed yeah, Jamboree. Right. Do you have much family down in Muckbed? Uh, no. Nope. Yeah. All yeah. dead. All of them are dead. They're dead. Yeah, We're all yeah. just a bunch of orphan band yeah, dead. No, so dead. My, my family doesn't come from Muckbed Creek because I'm a frog. You see. They're all dead too. Dead. My no, they're family. not dead. 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 Oh, well, my family's they're dead. They're dead to me, but they're not dead. Oh, I'm chicken teach you fishing. 
Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, he's a knight. Hi. Take you out uh, in the old uh, room boat. Oh, yeah. Can, should we leave now? Let's go. If you can handle the sea. Oh, I I've been, been on land. a boat once Absolutely. Before. I've only just seen the ocean today for the first time, but I'm sure we can handle uh, be sailing. So, Fishing. to be clear, if we touch the ocean, we're going to... F- Turn into fire? Yeah, can we set some ground rules here? <laughs> I, I just, I'm with Hazel. I, I, so, uh, Hazel, my jug Hazel. Um, <laughs> I, I just don't want to lose her to the ocean What's raging. your name? She's a, she's a cruel um, mistress. Her name's Adele. Yeah, That's Adele. Who's Hazel? Hazel's the, the jug. jug. Like jug. my instrument, my jug. Go ahead, blow on her. Blow in the Hazel. Look at that See? Hazel. Lovely sound. I, I don't want the sea to take her from me. I don't even believe that. I don't even know she's going to Just the one. <laughs> Sounds like a foghorn. A little bit? All right, we don't think Yeah, we it, thought maybe. about calling our band the Foghorn Frog Legs, but it wasn't a good band name. We went through a diff- few, a few different names. Anyway. Experimental phase. I was in the band when I was a young cat. Oh, what did you play? I played the bassoon. Did you, what, catch on fire? And no, that was horribly? Barry. <laughs> Barry? Wait, there's more than one bassoon player. That's what I call old Bartog. Oh, oh, fair enough. Oh, I wrote a song about Bartog. Oh, I would very much like to hear it. Yeah, well, tomorrow then. We have a set tomorrow, is what she means. So Uh, you have to come and watch. Well, ah, exactly. So so about these words, as... Again, uh, he's uh, trusting the the, the, the sea, the, the faith, the garden. Trusting the sea, lads. Uh, Let's it. go. Uh, oh, God. Um, well, I'm gonna of course, sir, Captain. So sh- should I not touch the water? Trusting me. Uh, that doesn't Listen answer me. my question. Just do as he says. But, uh, Lead uh, the way, Captain. What if I feel compelled to, to Aye, taste aye, it? Captain. It smells so salty. <sighs> Let's go. All right. I'll just follow. Well, if I burst into flames, it's your fault. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Miss Sad Panda. Welcome to our family. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, as the uh, as you make your way down, the rain is pelting you, and you make your way down through the streets of the dock, and you see that there is a uh, a little dinghy that is tied up and it's clacking against the side of the pilings. As uh, he he all he holds it steady as uh, you all pile in. Uh, and, uh, you, he looks at you and says, Hey, you can row. Oh, uh, he's awfully strong. I can row. I've got enough strength. I've probably rowed once or twice in my life. In my life. Oh, I don't know if I, don't know if I trust that. How would you credit your use of mine? <laughs> <laughs> Just for the proper accent, you see. She's moving out know. of character, thing. <laughs> you sure you're a dog? No, he's not a dog, he's a pug. I'm a cat, so I don't care for the dogs. Uh, well, I'm a dog, and I very much respect cats. No. Oh. Well, I like the water. Something. Okay, row, Grimly. <clears throat> and I so, will attempt to row. So you attempt to row, and as you, uh, you heave, as he, uh... I'm gonna, can, well, have we touched the water? I'm gonna touch the water. Okay. Oh. You touch the water and it feels like cold ocean. It cool. I'm gonna up. get into the water behind the boat and I'm gonna kick my frog legs and help propel it. Okay, so you do that and it turn basically turns into like a little motor boat as you go brrrr, and you start to uh, propel the boat a little bit more and you make your way out. You see the spinning of the lighthouse, that, that the, the beacon of almost like a, basically a massive lantern that seems to be spinning around with the work of some strange uh, uh, mechanism that's spinning around and around as you're making your way out. And he, uh, you make your way, getting a little bit closer to the lighthouse as uh, the ocean is rocking and, and uh, rolling as he hands uh, each of you uh, a fishing rod bucket of tackle. He, uh, he hands you each like a tiny little minnow, and uh, he spends about an hour, about an hour teaching you uh, how to uh, best 
uh, cast a line. He actually has a net too, and he shows you how to uh, heave in, attempting to heave in uh, whatever fish you can. A very, very, very few fish in this hour actually bite. <clears throat> but the entire time, his eye keeps darting up to the lighthouse and towards a spot in the ocean. Same spot in the ocean that you can't quite can't quite uh, discern where it is unless you decided to to do something. Um, and, oh. and, uh, and it's probably nothing. I choose the weapon skill murder. <laughs> you are an intimate range with him. No, I'm just going to continue to fish. Uh, I don't really like to fish, to be honest. Well, I've, I've never really done it before, but but you know, I, um, and, uh, this is interesting. I, I like learning new things. Um, you'll get one. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. Very clever. Um, um, go ahead. I was just gonna say, can can I go up in the lighthouse? I've never seen one before. You never seen a lighthouse before? No. No. To never be fair, there. we've we've not. I haven't even seen the ocean until no. today. No. It's just like a really big lake, I guess, but bigger. It's like it goes on forever. Yeah, it's like the biggest lake. You mean the world's only? I, I've been the only one been up that lighthouse for years. Oh, then you... It is treacherous, especially for those that ain't got wings. You don't got stairs in it. I, I do, I'm sure they're how do safe. You, how do you get up there? Cats don't have wings. I'm a cat with wings. That's a thing. Oh, yeah. Obviously, <clears throat> Piggy. He's a cat with wings. I'm yeah. Here. Not for sure. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm going to swim down, catch a fish, and throw it in the boat. <laughs> oh, that, that kind of skips points to A through B. Yeah, that's why I call it catching, not fishing. <laughs> I just continue to do my thing. <laughs> Got it. If only I, if only I uh, as a cat, had the ability to do that. And you knowing that a pelican would definitely be able to dive in and grab a fish. But he is not able to do that yeah, as he. He's a cat with wings. He's a cat with wings. <laughs> as he uh, begins, he uh, begins to uh, <clears throat> as he begins to row a little bit more, and he looks at you and says, "What do you want to be looking up at the lighthouse for, there, little bird?" I just want to see it and like see what it looks like here. But from there... You get a better look at the whole ocean. Yeah, you know how you said you were a musician? You know how when you look over at the great expanse of the world, you're inspired for new songs? It sparks, it ignites the music in your soul? Well, we're musicians, so being up there and looking out over the vast expanse of the ocean would really help to kindle that, uh, the creative inspiration inside of us, you know? Yeah. The muse, as they say. So I was thinking I'd write a song called The Catlican in the Lighthouse. He looks at all of you, and whoever really likes to make a, a, a persuade an NPC role may do that. Me? I'm bad. I'm really, I'm really bad at it. No Hazel was. Isn't that that's charm, Booker right? Booker said something. I'm happy to help, but I was not the one making the argument. Oh, damn. <laughs> Three. Mm. Yeah. With that, he uh, he stops and he says, and looks at all of you. Ain't got no family. Awesome. Ain't with the monkeys eight. Ain't with the eerie. What do you believe is the natural state of the forest of the dim wood? What do you mean? You it's care. It's natural. By nature. It's trees. For, for what it's worth, I haven't even seen the whole dim world. How can I make a, a decision like that until I've seen it all? Exactly. I, I've just enjoyed it for what it is. Everywhere we've gone, I, I, I've been able to find the wonder in, in, in each of the clearings. I, there's lovely things everywhere. That's true. You go around clearing the clearing, playing your instruments. Your wayward souls. I, I, I so. way, wayward's one way to put it. Wonder lost is another. I, you know, there's, there's a lot to see out there. Depends how you define it. Yeah. I'd say we have a purpose. Playing music. 
before friends. I have friends too. Yeah, that's good. Would you like to meet them? Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I don't see why sorry. not. We, you're, you seem like a very fine gentleman, and we, we'd love to meet more of your friends. Who, who are your friends? My friends are people who enjoy enjoy each other's company, enjoy the natural state. Well, that sounds nice. They're not like nudists. Are they? they welcome all the way where it's always What's looking. What's your problem with nudists? Sometimes you just need to get naked when you're angry. What angry? We would yeah. very much like to meet them. Agreed. We'll come back to that. I promise you'll meet them, and you won't embarrass me in front of my. Friends. I don't know about that. Thank goodness none of you are birds. They hate birds. No, uh, 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 Very duly noted. Yeah, no, no birds here. Just uh, just us. Just yeah, okay. me and my frog legs. To the lighthouse, then. Oh, so you are going to take us to the lighthouse. So your friends are up in the lighthouse. Not quite. Yeah, all right, let's go. I'm not worried about it. There's something incredibly ominous about this, and it makes me feel really comfortable in this dark night on this boat in the middle of a vast The sea ocean rocks of water. the boat as it's yeah. pelting. I'm not sure we have much choice. Uh, Just do as he says. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm totally feeling fine with this. There's not even I start vomiting. I'm <laughs> not even bleh, nervous as bleh. Sorry, I'm seasick. As he begins to row, and you see the lighthouse looming above you, as the beacon spins around and around. As you see, there's a tiny little dock uh, going out that's just on the, the jagged rock. It's, it's almost just a handful of planks. And he manages to dock and guide you onto the slippery rock. It's a little difficult um, for those of you not accustomed to the to the water. As pardon me, as uh, he leads you up the small pathway up to the small door. And you see that this small door is flying back and forth on its hinges as it's flapping, it's clattering. And you see that this is probably not even used. You look up and you see that there's a little perch mm. on the um, on the top of this lighthouse. As uh, he's oh, I'm, I'm shocked it's still on its hinges there. And he pulls it open. And uh, it is pitch black inside. You see the occasional flash of light as the rotation uh, spins around to a certain part that illuminates a bit into this chamber. What do you do? Does does did he open the door for us, or is he? He's just held in? the door open as he basically caught oh. the door. Oh, uh, oh. To oh so there's stairs going in. up. Uh, it's dark, oh, and it's, and it's dark. very you see a little bit of light kind of going into the top of this room, well, the um, chamber. I, I would say that you've been uh, uh, very nice to us, and, and if your friends are half as nice as you are, then we've got uh, nothing to worry about, right? <laughs> yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna head in now, uh, 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 friend. Um, just, just watch. My back, and uh, I'll we'll wait for you in inside. And Not I, that there's anything to watch out for, of course. Let's go. And I'm just gonna step in. While we're stepping in, can I just sniff around to see? Do I, what do I smell? Do I smell anything weird that I wouldn't expect? Read a tense situation for me. I'm gonna say Ooh. this is. Uh, I wouldn't say this that is definitely true. a tense situation. I like it. Uh, what is it? Cunning. Cunning. Uh, eight. Eight. Mm. So I can ask one. Ooh. 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 Uh, who or what is the biggest threat? Oh. 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 oh, Mike. You? This is the rules of the game. This is what's fun about this. You get the sense that um, Quincy is absolutely a threat. Oh. Uh, but uh, whoever his friends are, are definitely a bigger threat. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm in the darkness. <laughs> I got a pee. <laughs> As you sniff around, and I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll get, you'll, you'll get a little bit of uh, flavor kernels with, you'll get a little bit of a kernels with that. As you smell a dusty old lighthouse, whatever internal 
uh, parts of this lighthouse have been able to be shielded from the, the battering waves and wind. Seems to be old and decayed. It is the scent of mildew. You smell rotting fish. As you look up above, you see the skeletons of fish and, and shellfish all around. It seems to have been uh, scattered about. There seems to be a little uh, nested area uh, built out um, where Quincy probably uh, stays uh, maybe one evening a week. Who knows? It doesn't seem to be super lived in. Uh, but something is catching your your scent. And as you go into the room, towards the back end, you see the la- lightning crash and it illuminates the room a little bit. It's a very bare entryway. There's simply just a chest uh, with with fishing, uh, fishing rods, tackle, some nets. And... Towards that area, you smell something. It smells like plants, flowers. It seems very strange and odd, and a contrast to the, the 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 smell of the sea and the salt and the and and, and, the, and the fish that you're experiencing. And that is what you whatever you do with that information, you'll uh, you may do. Well, for now, I think I'll just follow Booker into the darkness. Uh and await further orders. Okay. So, he uh, guides you in, and uh, he he steps forward, and as he looks at all of you, he uh, he says, You wanted to see the lighthouse, you wailed souls. Looking for answers, to questions that bother you so you come here not ally to any of the powers my friends and I have a true power and you all are the proper few uh, 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 all right uh, where, where are your friends then wait the proper Fit? Fit. In the Black Reef. Where's that? Out on the sea. Can we see it if we go up there? Ye can see it at the right time. But ye ain't gonna see it from there. You gonna meet them. And he walks over to uh, the large cabinet. And he takes his wings and he pulls it back. And you hear the scratching and scraping of wood on stone as a small stone passageway is exposed in this lighthouse. And it goes down deep into this rock. The smell hits you, uh, all of you at this point. It smells like rich pollen and flowers and, and, and greenery that is that's blasting from this, this, this passage. Oh, where, 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 where are we? Where's this lead? Where's this going? This is what unexpected. Is that? smell like that? Doesn't smell salty like the rest of it, then. This is the Garden of the Sea Dragon. The great uh, god that shepherds all the wayward souls. Is that why I smell plants? Aye. And it's down there. Aye. Is it safe? If you truly believe. Believe what? If you believe in the power of the sea, the power of the tree, the power of nature, the great sea dragon. Safety in the words, remember. Safety in the words. You don't have alliance. To any folk, the power hungry folk, or those that lurk in the shadows attempting to restore balance, but it is simply the balance of their own selfishness. Well, balance of nature, that is what matters. I don't, of course. Do ye wish to go? Yes. I'm a little nervous. There are those that have failed. And the fire took them. Wow. 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 
Yes. We still want to go. Sure. And he, he beckons away. I cannot enter. I am merely the guide. What? That's some sweet, right? A cat with, with wings can still not pass into the garden. I see. Um. Well, we'll tell you how it is. I can describe it for you once we get back. It's hey, that's be a torture worse than than death. But I believe. No time like the present, then. Let's go. All right. Once we walk down, we feel like we're out of earshot. I'm going to very quietly whisper if I think that nobody would be in earshot. They probably have the sword. That's where the fire's coming from. The last relic. No, this, that's the only reason that that creepy pellet cat that I allowed him to let us down here. It's not like I'm willingly going to whatever trial he wants us to do. You gotta play along though. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, the only reason I even said yes in the first place is I felt like it was too far in to back out. I, I didn't want him to go crazy and then and kill us. They seem really creepy us. there all yeah. of a sudden. Right when you're on the edge is never a reason to pull out. That's right, we've passed the point of no return. Yeah, you just have to propel yourself forward into the dark, dank cavern. There's nothing that's gonna stop it at that point. No. And continue down. Yeah. You continue yeah, downward. It's really <laughs> rare. As, as this, as the, the, the wetness and the dankness of this passage yep. uh, gets, it's, it's more and more moist as you, you, you thrust down into this, uh, this, this tunnel, the stairwell, deeper and deeper into this rock that seems to go then level out and you hear the roaring and crashing of ocean all above you. It's incredibly dark, but as you see and you make your way through, it feels like the, the the structure of the stone changes as you pass. And as you make your way through, you reach a point where there's a, a massive stone slabs, very similar architecture that you remember. You saw it on top of the waterfall in the forest, uh, in the swamp. And you make your way through as you begin to you begin to see shapes along either side of you. As you see that these are covered in 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 in, in, in lime and, 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 and also in barnacles and sea scum as it drips in from the ocean above you. As you see bits of pieces of humanoid or uh, critter shapes, some you see a bit of armor, a tiny little bit of is that wood? No, that seems to be an antler. But one th thing seems to be consistent is flame and fire. And you see bits of tree. And is it like carved in? It seems kind of the bas relief style, the okay. same style that you've seen across the board. As you continue and you make your way and you see that there's stairs going up and there's a strange glowing light and it's an orange light as that orange light seems to be incredibly familiar. As it glows up top, the smell of, of, of pollen, of, of greenery hits your nostrils and you actually see bits of fronds of grass up through the small passage up ahead, leading ahead, what do you do? Be ready to pull the, the, the relics out. just No, hold on. We shouldn't let them know that we have them. Uh, not, no, yeah, we want to play our cards too early here. Just, just... Keep them on hand, but, but, but okay. don't... Let's not reveal anything too quickly. Have we heard anybody, like, moving around or anything? Like, any noise? Other you hear the, the, the thrashing of the sea all around in the chamber, and it, it is almost cacophonous. And that's what you hear. 
I really don't want to burst into flames. If we need to, we can kill. Very violent of you, but I appreciate that sentiment. I yes. feel safer now. Yes, you I threatened to kill everyone. Yes. I... First thing in the flames would be terrible. But the yeah. thing is, my workshop is difficult to reach, but poorly defended. <laughs> and if I die here, then who's going to look after it? I mean, it is difficult to reach, but it is poorly defended. Well, we're not going to die here. I mean, that's that's it. That's the bottom line. What about your good friend Hamiltoad? Hamiltoad is so busy being in the letters that he writes that I just don't think he would have the time. You gave me seltzer, Mike. Yeah, great. And Flyza is so obsessed with Hamiltoad, I don't think she would ever think to look. And recently, Angela Croak is married and she just moved off to another one of the clearings with their super rich husband that's going to give her a great life. So they're not even going to worry about it. They won't even like look they in and check even in. No. That's very self And Peggy, here I am, just all by myself having to look at my poorly defended and difficult to reach <laughs> workshop. <laughs> Well, and you all have an artifact, right? So if something happens, you can pull off whatever, and you have your banner, and you have your crown, and I'm standing here naked, and I don't have anything to protect me from the fire. You've got us. Well, all of the artifacts have protected all of us every time we've used That's them. true. Peggy. Until this time. Take this. This will keep you safe. What are you handing me? Because your you. hands are empty. <laughs> <laughs> I pull the amulet out of my face. What is it? <laughs> and I pass you the big blazing heart amulet. No, it's fine. You keep it. My job has been to get us here. I just want you to promise me that though it is difficult to reach and it is poorly defended, <laughs> should I perish this day? That it will no longer be Peggy's workshop, but it will be the garage for the band. Oh, that sounds really nice. I did leave like, half my liquor there anyway. Well, that was technically my liquor that you took, put into your containers, told me it was your liquor, and then asked me to refill my vat to make more liquor. That's not true. It is. But it's fine. <laughs> We'll get back there. Don't you worry. We're not dying here. You understand? All I'm of you. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I haven't found right. my bumblebee pie yet. We'll find it one day. All right. Let's Steal go. yourselves. Onward. Before we go in, does anybody want this ruby? This clam strip ruby? Oh, yes, very that much. That is at least oh. almost 24. Oh, God. It's like <laughs> four days old. It got no oh, salty no. on the boat. Um, but I think the salt does something mm, nice for really it. good. I'm going to have to clean up your vomit later. I mean, we should have gone to his deli on 42nd Street. I totally forgot. Yikes. That's going to be a yikes for me, dog. Onward. And I start marching forward down the path uh, towards the glowing ember. You march. You make your way in these ruined steps. Rise up. And suddenly, uh, you emerge, all of you, into a beautiful botany, a, a, a greenhouse almost, it seems, of, of ancient craft. It seems to be in a strange dome with large arcing pillars and supports rising up. And you see that there is a circular, um, a circular uh, hole in the ceiling with a dome over it. And you see the sea splashing over it as the moon is rising up. And you see that there's bits of black reef all peeking around on all around this, this, this moonlight. And as you emerge, you, you're, the, the scent that you've been smelling this whole time is almost overwhelming as it feels incredibly natural. Like, this is the most lush, verdant garden that you've seen. There are no trees to speak of, but beautiful flowers of every color, vibrant, uh, uh, arranging vines, uh, huge uh, bushes and shrubberies. As far as you can see, strange, exotic, looking like they're from far off lands even. And at the center of this, there is a... something at the center that's glowing, and it's orange. 
and it is a wooden effigy. Seems to be made out of out of wood and, and wicker, all tied together in the shape of a large, almost reptilian form, almost snake-like, slithering out with a large fin. And its mouth is open, and within it is glowing this glowing uh, ominous orangey light that is similar to what you've been seeing. But it's all contained within this large effigy. And as your, your eyes are drawn to it, suddenly you realize once again for the second time in this adventure that you're all surrounded. Hooded figures stepping out, all with knives. Wow. And each of them with a torch. As they step forward several paces. And you can see that one steps out from behind the statue. Bit of a longer snout, green scales, sharp teeth, pulls a head back, his hood back, and you see clearly a lizard face. Your eyes dart around, and you see mostly lizards, but you see a number of foxes, mice, mm. rabbits. You see a couple of other creatures. Any not birds? A, not a single bird, do you see? And you see that there is, however, a slab before this dragon. It is low. And seeming of a different, uh, uh, pulled from part, uh, not an original uh, stru- part of the structure, but pulled in front of this uh, effigy of a sea dragon. And it is bloody with feathers all along. As, oh, as the lizard who pulls back his uh, hood with this strange glowing torch with the wood is almost this, this dark black. And he says, Welcome to the garden. You have been brought by our messenger. Do you wish to join us or do you wish to die? Well, well we certainly don't want to die. Uh, there's no, no need for the knives and, and, and threatening behavior. We're, we're not here to die. And we're certainly not birds. That's true, we're not birds. Um, but your messenger was quite old, as I'm sure you know, and... And the bird, he was the pelican. Um, yes, I guess. I don't, I don't know, it was confusing. Um, but... His faith is strong, and if you believe, you can overcome what you were born as. And you feel that there's a, there's a sickness. Uh, 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 he's sickened. In, in even thinking about uh, this pelican being a bird. Well, it's just that he didn't tell us very much about you. He, he just said that we would be a good fit. Yes. And it sent us on our way. That's right. Um, You're looking for wayward souls? Yes. You are all seeming to be wayward souls. I can see it in your eyes. Lost. Traveling the dim wood without a purpose. Do you wish to seek any greater purpose than your own whim? There is a light for the lost and the meek. What kind of light? Yeah, what kind of purpose? It's from the fire of the sea dragon. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask it. Uh, what's a sea dragon? Zyrag. Zyrag, uh, uh, is that its name? Is yes. it related to Shitrag? The dragon? <laughs> I have not heard of the Shitrag. <laughs> it's from the Shaman Forest. It's populated by bears. Mainly three bears. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Nikki! <laughs> mainly, mainly three bears. <laughs> Just three. Just the three. <laughs> Holy shit! Um, what's your name, friend? My name is Zanras. Welcome to the garden, and I wish you all to join us. We, the time is nigh. I have seen in the fire that there are disturbances in the 
treasures of the old. The time has come to strike, to bring down the bird menace, to use the power of flame for the restoration to return and create a beautiful garden across the entire dim wood. <laughs> Thank you, Frigo! Oh, oh, it's so nice to see you! Oh, hi! <laughs> Thank you. Great to see you, Briggles. That's what he says. Um, so what, what do we have to do to join whatever this is? You must pledge your lives to the cult. The cult of Zyrag. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. And why did you come? Well, because I want whatever's inside of that weird wicker thing. He turns and looks at the thing beside him. That is the fire of Zyrag. Yeah, no, I want that. How do we get that? I've got a question. Why just the birds? Why not the cats, too? Birds are hateful creatures. They sit in their great perches and look down upon those that do not have the ability of flight. And it is in their nature to oppress and to disrupt nature. Give have a different song. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is why I followed it. <laughs> so normally, pause the music, normally yeah. it doesn't bother me very yeah. much like that. <laughs> this is the problem with just having the Spotify playlist. We're gonna, there's no music here. <laughs> It, there is not one person that can wield the flame. What do you know that is within Zyrag's soul? Why do you seek it? Well, because it's really pretty. If you look over there, it burns a vibrant orange, which is, as we all know, the main color of Spooktober, and we're in a creepy forest where there are pumpkins, and it's autumnal-themed, and if anyone is going to win the best Halloween costume of Muck- Muckbed Creek, Creek is going to be the, the frog who's dressed up like a, a, a tadpire holding a flame in whatever's inside of that thing, obviously. And it's the Mugbed Creep costume contest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, old well, man. Well, that's definitely Creep. a person. I mean, that person exists. <laughs> yeah, old man Creep. Old man Creep. In Mugbed Creep. Yeah, you might know him because there were two old cats. There's a strange aura about you. Three of you. Oh, well, there were four of us here, so. What kind of weird aura? Uh, what does that mean? It just happens when I get nervous. I'm sorry about that. You seem to be touched with the same power as Irag. No, I think you're just mistaken the fact that Grumley ate a four-day-old clam strip Reuben or something, and yeah. he is just... Yeah, I would throw anybody's aura out of whack. Yeah. And we traveled down a dark and dreary, kind of damp, moist cave with him in this state of being. We are wielders. Of the power of Zyrag. Well, that's quite the bold statement there. All right, we're going to go with it. Zyrag did not give you permission to say that. He told us that we were not supposed to mention it. We were supposed to trust that the faithful would know and do his bidding. Because of their spiritual connection, you're not supposed to say that. Wow. Say what? Exactly. (laughs) He turns and looks. (laughs) What do you know of Zyrag and the power he has? I do see a lingering aura. You know, it's like you said, that the messengers aren't supposed to say anything about it. There is nobody who knows Zyrag and his bidding and his abilities quite like the faithful. Can you get a trick of it to see? <laughs> That's very true. That is very true. Oh, wow. Eight. Let me see. My goodness. So they hesitate. Uh, so they take. Okay. Um, so you can choose one. They hesitate, shake their confidence, weaken their morale, stumble, you gain a critical opportunity. You over, they overreact, take plus one forward against them. What is your preference? Um, oh, I have to look yeah, at this. Yeah, you got to choose. I need to. For some tricking. Um. 
So what would you mean by a critical opportunity? Because, like, I don't think that we want to just, like, go in and steal it. It could be a variety of different... I will do they overreact and we get one forward against them. What does that mean? What's one forward? It means so that when we try and rolls. do something, we get plus ones to our roll. For this entire okay. scene. So, so basic, it's basically like knocking him off of his guard and so yeah. he's overreacting about yeah, it. Like and so, yeah. so he looks and he says, I, 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 I am the most faithful of all of us here. And I, 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 I did see the taint, the, 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 the aura of Zyrag. On you, I, I, I believe. I'm a true believer. And I have do not. No, I do do not doubt my faith. And I have no doubt that he sent you the same message that he told us he was sending to the most faithful, that the shadow of birds, the rain of feathers would descend if you didn't do right by him. And I know that as the most faithful, you will follow true to his word. It's true. Did he send a message through the fire? I... Can't How else would he send a message? That's no. rhetorical. I'm saying I, he sent the message to fame. I feel that as the most faithful, that's not a question you should be asking us. I'm sure he spoke to you and told you. You know, something about uh, shepherding the flames, uh, where they need to go. Or something along those lines. What, what is his will? Oh no, he didn't communicate with you. This is a little awkward. Are they not the faithful? We are faithful. Well, I think they might be sort of faithful. Uh, uh, they were supposed to know. Like faith. They must not be the ones. Weird. He must not be the the anointed one. What did he say? In the flames. I have been praying of my... Why would Zyrag not speak to me, the, fire, the leader of the cult? The fire has chosen the four. The dragon has been protected by the four. Shepherd the flames. To shepherd the flames. Shepherd and them that away. the leader of the faithful would know them upon sight and allow them towards the heart of fire. Oh, this is unfortunate. It's, it's wow. really awkward that we had yeah, to tell you this. really uncomfortable. And, and the point of the cult was to, for this moment, yeah. For you to pass on the flame. It's oh, it's no. hundreds. I, I, since the beginning of time, this has been culminating to this moment. Since since the separation. Whoever would like to make a trick an NPC with plus one <laughs> may may do so. Why me? You have the highest stat. No, I don't. Not for trick an NPC. Yes, I'm cunning, cunning. Probably, yeah. yeah. I have I'm negative one on uh, charm. No. Oh, on cunning. cunning. It's oh cunning. shit! I've been rolling with charm. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh yes. Thirteen. Thirteen. He, he seems visibly shaken from this, as he has morale and it is all gone. <laughs> as a stat, and it is all gone. As he ha- almost like drops his, his torch. His peaceful. I suppose it would be wayward souls would shepherd the flame to bring destruction of fire and the renewal to the feathered menace. Couldn't have said it better myself. And that's our goal. Is to bring down the feathered menace. Not only it our is not our goal, it's our destiny. We were the chosen. Destiny. 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 I had believed, I had seen my glory in the flame, but I had merely been a shepherd myself. And immediately he, uh, he takes his flame and holds it in front of him and kneels and bows before you. And immediately a ring, all the cultists around you, all kneel and bow. Well, before I suppose you. Uh, I could get used to this. Um, <laughs> well, uh, no, uh, please, please, uh, arise, okay. arise for us. Well, not too quickly, you know, take your no. time. But Continue to bow in reverence of the dragon. Close your eyes. The chosen of Zyrag. Picture the flame in the your mind's eye. The flame of Zyrag. Not that is yours. We're, we're picturing it. It is yours. It's ours. Take it. All right. Now I'm, I'm going to walk forward and I'm going to reach into the thing, grab it, and try and yank it out. 
So as you approach, you see that there's a large, that there's a large kind of wicker statue. You could take the time to kind of pull it apart. It's not super well built in this garden. And then you could see that as you start to kind of peer in, you see a large sword uh, plunged into this dark stone and is glowing with the same uh, radiance that is um that that all the others have and it seems to be licking with flames and almost occasionally you have to stand back a little bit as it then swirls around and shoots upwards and it then kind of shoots out of the mouth of this effigy it's not catch fire on this strange wood but a flame shoots up a flame shoots up out of the out of the sword and you see that there are a number of you peer down and you see built around this there's a number of um, strange symbols that are glowing with the same kind of orangey a uh, hue as the rest of your artifact. What do you do? I'm gonna grab the hilt and pull it from the I'm sword in the stone in this bitch. Okay, so you wait for the right time and you uh, grab it and as soon as you pull it out, flames burst out and immediately incinerate the uh, immediately in, in, from the room. And All hail Zyrex! And incinerate the entire uh, bit of the statue. And you see that on the hilt of the sword is nothing to do with a dragon. It is a crown of antlers. As the sword ignites into flame. And uh, it's almost kind of getting out of control. It's blazing. And you realize that, 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 the, that the strange emblem in the pommel seems to be able to turn as uh, as you you hold the sword up, immediately the the members drop their torches and put their hands onto the ground of this garden and stick their face into the ground and bow. And in unison, they say, "A chosen of Zyrag, chosen of Zyrag." This is going far too well. I'm gonna hold up the sword. Here today, the most faithful of Zyrag have helped the champions of Zyrag to descend, to ascend in the ability to protect him, to protect the dim wood. Well said. Well said. And I'm going to turn the pommel. So as you do that, they all are bowing. And then as you turn the pommel, similar to rolling up the business, nodding all the stuff, everything that you've done... It, and it's licking out. It's almost getting out of control, this blazing inferno. It's starting to burn away some of the sides of this chamber. And um, then as soon as you suddenly... And you have a sword that's glowing. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Egon Leash. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Raiders. As welcome that welcome. happens, I'm going to look down. Only the Chosen can control the flame. Yes, of And course. then I'm just going to go and stand with my friends. You do that, and immediately. Joe Piggy, thanks. That's what happens when you're chosen. And you blink immediately. Blink or I would if all I could. of the other cultists <laughs> are bowing down, and uh, you see um, the, the the leader of of the cult uh, stand up. His torch has cast aside as well, as he looks at all of you and says, "You all are the chosen of Zyrag. Truly, you wield his flame." It shall be you that burns down the great Eyrie, and out of that destruction, the renewal that will create a garden as glorious as the one we stand. Powerful. Powerful stuff. We will carry the flame and use it for pure destruction against the birds. Zyrag will guide us, as he always has, towards our destiny. Go. And it is midnight, and you see up above, the moon is at its zenith, and it seems to be midnight, as it's shining down, and almost looks, from the hue of this room, a blazing, uh, almost like a blazing orange sun, as it, uh, it, it shines down, almost connecting with the, the glow of the sword, as uh, you see that there are, um, there's a number of stone, these, the stone pillars actually have uh, grips, in order to climb up as the, the ocean that was in the glass has receded and it's just night sky. And it seems as if the tide has gone out to a certain point for this black reef to be exposed. 
Do we go up there? <clears throat> that is where the holy place is. We can have our messenger. Call to the messenger. He will hear you. Well, thank you. We, we appreciate everything that you've done for us, and then we wish you well. And here, take my torch. I do not need it any longer. Uh, 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 all right. Sure. I'll, I'll hold it up. You hold it up, and he says, Our messenger will know that it is from me. Go with Zyrag. One more decree <clears throat> from Zyrag himself. The sacrifices, the blood on the altar, it is not necessary for your worship. He does not need sacrifice, he just needs your faith. The sacrifices culminate in the joining of the, of the, the tributaries. <laughs> like and the, the, the faithful will be rewarded under the ever watchful eye of the dragon. And I point up at the bright glowing moon shining down. They all look up. Oh, chosen of Zyrag. <laughs> chosen of Zyrag. And then, let's go. No well, more. this has been fun. Zyrag be praised. Zyrag be praised. Everyone have a lovely <laughs> night. We'll see you around. <laughs> 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 and with that, uh, Booker, Booker scampers up, <laughs> and you all make your way up. And as you make your way up, they are all saying, Zyra, be praised, Zyra, be praised. Uh, the sword uh, gl uh, gleaming uh, in this light. And as soon as your torch extends, you hear a call, a familiar voice on the wind. <laughs> as uh, you see a flapping form of uh, Quincy, as uh, he looks down at you, uh, Chosen of Zyrag. As he flies and immediately goes and gets his rowboat. And he brings it around. The la a large black reef uh, spanning out across in this area. As uh, you manage to climb on, it is very treacherous and sharp. If you're not careful, it's easy to, to slip and cut yourself on this thing. As um, you all wait, and you all, uh, what do you do as the boat is docked? What do you do? Uh, get in. No, that, that's what we'll do. We'll you take us back to shore, but maybe don't take us directly there. Is there somewhere under the cover of darkness you can get us back? We can like, slip back into the into the inn and for safety. And well, I know the best spot to avoid all of the eyes of those filthy birds. Perfect. Feathered menace. Do that. You should hide the sword. I did. Oh, you already did? <laughs> yeah. It's inside of my jumper. Perfect. Don't cut anything in between them. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you for the tears. Holy hell, oh, Freckles. You're amazing. Wow. Wow. We wow. missed you. Don't leave us again. Thank you very much. So. That's so nice. Um, Freckles got that Sylvie emote. Oh. So with that, you all, um, the four relics all maintain. You step off and you heave off and you row and row. And as soon as the sword crosses the threshold away from the reef, suddenly you hear <laughs> as you look behind you, the reef slides forward and interlocks, and then a low rumbling, and it sinks beneath the sea. Well, would you look forever. at that? And that is where we're on the session. <laughs> Damn. Are they dead? Are all the cultists dead Did down just there? Kill everyone. <laughs> I mean, the cultists, but. I, well, man. A and chill. A and chill. chill. <laughs> they could get out this of that. This is a weird episode. I don't think they're dead. I don't think they're dead. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so either. We hit all the fucking beats in that fucking episode. <laughs> Holy shit. All what? the highs and lows. So thank you for hanging out with us. We're, we're, we're not done. done. No, we're, we're done. not done. What's but, next? Well, so what's next is shoes. that we have Curse of Strahd on Sunday. So come join us on Sunday. For spoons. For all day Curse of Strahd shenanigans I DM the schmucks play at the table you get to revisit whatever these lizards were again yeah at Sarnax um, but outside of that we have a Vantress and Chill coming up which is a subscriber only stream so if you're a subscriber join us we um, decompress we talk about what happened in the session we talk about our favorite stuff. parts um, it's interactive so the subscribers yeah. that are there can ask us questions we joke around have a good time just hang out and if you're not a subscriber you get a five minute preview if you've never watched it before and then maybe you want to be a subscriber but no pressure
Um, like and subscribe. Right episode, yeah, next week is our last episode, yeah, week week is our last episode, episode of Root. Oh. So see the, the exciting conclusion. I literally um, can't even begin to guess how it will end. Yeah. I mean that sincerely. See the exciting conclusion to Root. Oh my God, to wear as ears. all four of the relics are united, and we'll see what happens. Yep. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, yeah. everyone. We'll see you soon. <laughs> we'll see our subs, schlubs, schlubs. Yeah, join yeah, us. I'll see you. We'll Goodbye. be we'll be back in a moment. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Love you guys. Bye.